to another episode of Tales from the Blue Cottage. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a return viewer, thanks for coming back, guys. We hope you enjoy the show. And if you are enjoying the show, you should go check us out over on TikTok and Instagram, where we make D&D-inspired skits to make you laugh, hopefully. We, we laugh about it, probably more than we honestly should. But uh, yeah, go check them out. We actually did a really, <laughs> another really fun episode of Spell Check earlier that was... Uh, Great time. Great time. It was a great time. Yeah. Wasn't it, Nathan? It was. It was. Amazing time. <laughs> <laughs> he made it. He made it. Yeah. So, please go check us out on TikTok. We'd love to love to see you guys over there. And if you really, really, really like us and you would love to support us even further and help help us bring more content to you, please go check out MidnightStraightCandleCo.com where we make fantasy-inspired scented candles as well as handmade resin dice to help enhance your tabletop experience. Speaking of the dice, we do have an announcement as there will be a dice drop on Tuesday, Valentine's Day, February 14th at 5 p.m. Central Time, and it is called All the Single Ladies. Now, this dice drop is a little unique compared to the ones we've done in the past in that it is all D20s. Single D20s. Get it? Take them home. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I know it's a cheap joke. It's fine. It's fine. We made us laugh. I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny. Well, you listen here. I've gotten some good feedback from you. <laughs> I, I They're like, this clever is cute. Idea. Thank you. So, <laughs> anyways, so all the single ladies on Valentine's Day, February 14th, uh, if you if you want to see some of those dice, they are actually up on the Midnight Stray Instagram. If you go check out Midnight Stray Candle Co. on Instagram, you can get previews of some of those badass looking dice. I know some people are already calling dibs, uh, so if you want to get one, you better be quick. Because <laughs> so, uh, there's only one of each type, uh, one of each style. Um, except for the winter nights. Except for the winter nights, yes. Yeah, there will be two. There will be yeah, two winter nights. One. Okay. Uh, just so. onesies. So, uh, so with that, uh, the, the other thing too is that we will be doing another, a tr like a true dice set dice drop, uh, where we'll have several dice sets available, but that's going to be announced soon. We don't exactly have a hard date for that yet, but it won't be long after that, uh, the February 14th. So if you want to find out about that, go give us a follow on Instagram at Midnight Street Candle Co. or check us out at MidnightStreetCandleCo.com and follow along and you'll get updates. So, uh, big thanks to Kim Wald at Kim the Artist over on Instagram, as well as, uh, she, she's an amazing, uh, fantastic fantasy illustrator. She did all of the character artwork for this stream, as well as our Monday night stream, and she worked on a foxtail background art, and we're definitely going to be, uh, you know, working with her in the future on some other projects we have coming up. She's, she's, she's just awesome. She's really sweet, too. She's just like one of the sweetest little beans. So please, oh, go, give her, go give her some, go, <laughs> <laughs> go show her some love over on Instagram. Give her a follow at Ken the Artist. Or check her out on kintheartist.com where she makes some really rad bookmarks and other things. Um, also, a big shout out to a couple of our friends. Uh, we actually received some goodies here recently. Some new dice bags. The oh. Form of Dread dice bag. Couldn't pass it up. Uh, as well as a uh, foxy a dice tray, which we'll show off when a foxtail comes back around. Mm -hmm. But anyways, we'll show those things off later. But uh, anyways, Tinker's Vault and Saffron Stitched of our Instagram. The two of those groups, they're, they're two groups of makers. They've been just the kindest, most supportive people of for Vanessa on her journey into making dice, as and and our candle making company. They're just they're just really awesome people, guys, and they make some really rad stuff too. Mm -hmm. uh, Tinker's Vault specializes in dice trays and dice bags and other uh, kind of tabletop goodies. While Saffron Stitch, Julia, she works on dice bags. Uh, she makes dice tarot bags, bags, dice trays, tarot bags, uh, up like. Not other than like opposite. Coin uh, pot holders, coin oh. purses. She makes all kinds of stuff, and it's all oh, super girl. like unique, fa uh, unique fabrics that she does it with. And we've we've ordered a few things. Anyways, <laughs> check them out. Give us a love over on Instagram at Saffron Stitched and at Tinker's Vault. Uh, they're just super awesome people, guys. Go go show them some love. Um, I think that's it. I think that's all announcements that we have this week. Yep. Yeah. So let's jump into the night session. Let's jump into the chaos, guys. Or let's continue the chaos that, the that chaos. ensued from last right. week. Let me go ahead and change the music. We're all rested. Our characters are alive. Yeah. <laughs> let's go ahead and change the music, shall we? Something a little more appropriate. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the same music I started last night with, yeah, too, for the same reason. So, <laughs> last we left off. You all were caught. You found that... Elysian had just murdered Yorindi in some very mysterious way, turning him to dust after killing him. Some sort of disintegration effect. 
and you're caught by Alcazar. Alcazar, uh, Cinderfang. I almost said Crimson Fang, that's not right. Cinderfang. Who you quickly realized was up to no good and cast Modify Memory on him. However, within five minutes, you've already <laughs> countered your own Modify Memory by mentioning something that you changed in the modification. Anyways, you got caught. He locked you away. You had a conversation with Elysian. He told you that he wanted the Gate Stone. That's what he's after. He wants the Gate Stones for all of the Order of Eight. Um, he gave you 10 minutes to deliberate, and then he, you all teleported out during that time. Began running. You stirred up a lot of trouble inside the Temple Main Hall, kind of explained to Elijah what was going on, and then uh, you cast suggestion on Alcazar and suggested he tell the truth. And he did, because while his yeah. intelligence was a 20, his wisdom was a 10. So, <laughs> not the wisest in the bunch. As he turned around and immediately fessed up to everything that was happening, you rushed Elysian's plans forward, to which you real he revealed in that moment that he can be in many places at once. Um, including Cigna, uh, the apprentice to Grisha, he was hurt and transformed into himself. You don't know where Signa is at. There was this battle that broke loose in the temple in the temple hall. Uh, a lot of explosions, fog, fireballs, tons of damage dice being rolled on this side of the table while the rest of you were playing medic the whole time. During this time, Artemis, you found, you were led by the specter of Gilbert Seward to this secret passage deep in the temple that led to this underground teleportation circle where you saw another Elysian with a horde of golden masks returned, beginning to make their way into the temple proper to take care of business. You shouted down at him uh, and then teleported yourself up into the fray. A lot happened during that time. Alcazar ended up dying. Willa and Elysian teleported out after Willa teleported this giant 10-legged serpent into the room that cast the just wrecked Heinrich, poor Heinrich, RIP, um, just destroyed that poor Griffin. And I, I can't even like remember the exact accounts of that battle because there was so much happening at one time. But in the end, they retreated for a moment. And you saw, as you looked out the doorway, you could see he was leading an army into the temple proper to face you. Elijah shut the doors and melted them shut, like melted them shut, the locks, to, help, to buy you some time. And that's where we're going to pick up tonight's session. As you were all in the temple sanctuary, very out of breath, and that giant ten-legged serpent is in some other plane of existence right now, as one of these, as the, uh, the, the protector is holding it at bay. What are you all going to do? What did Alicia say before his like little minis disappeared? Didn't he say something? He did, right? Oh, yeah. The oh yeah, he told us um, to give over the go. gate stone yeah. or die. Okay. Yeah, that was basically okay. it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, more or Nothing less, new. he said you, you okay. will turn over the gate stones or you will die here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is basically what he said. And then we all um, went we're not gonna do that. in flight check. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. so. um, I still have a healing spirit up. Could I, in this moment, send it to anyone who I feel like needs healing? Uh, yeah, you could do that. I think you've used... I've used two. Two rounds, mm -hmm. yeah. So you have eight rounds left. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So to pass it over people. The other <clears throat> spellcasters so on Edward, the other side? You see, he's entered the dwarf is kind of like holding. He's got his hand out and he's holding it in that position where that giant serpent was, mm -hmm. and he's kind of keeping it. And you see, as he's beginning to sweat, he kind of. I think it's big, and it wants out. I'm not going to be able to hold it for long. Is what do you need a plan? We all need to get out of here. Yeah. Where, where's the way out? Is the question. Elijah kind of speaks up. He says, yeah. "Things coming from the teleportation circle. Can we even get there?" Well, I just kind of, the yeah. teleportation circle is that way, and he points to the opposite side of the room that you came from. There's more than one. There's more than one. Well, we're talking about it later. <laughs> Not work now. <laughs> in the bottom of the temple. Salazar, or it kind of speaks, 
Yeah, man. He's telling the truth. There's another one here. It's been, it's been right under your noses the whole time, guys. Elijah, Grisha, and Eddard all kind of look at each other inquisitively for a moment. And Eddard immediately just kind of, well, we should get a move on then, because yep. this, if this thing gets loose, we're fucked. Can I, is cool. my Big B's hand still up? Can I send it to hold it's the door up. while, because it's only going to last a minute, so it won't be, okay. you know, so up, hold the door, and then it's going to probably vanish as we leave. All right, that's a good point. So you're going to basically help brace the door. Um, so you put Bigsby's band hand over it and it poses itself. Make a strength check for Bigsby's hand because I've already rolled for how many times it's going to take them to get through that door. Mm. So. I'd also like to note that I put my sword away and I'm putting, pulling my bow out during this time. Okay. Just saying. So so don't 17 waste. plus I think an 8 for Bigsby's hand. So 25. 25. Okay. So, the little healing spirit. All right, so we're going. Uh, so Grisha is really rough. She did manage to cast a mask cure wounds, but it didn't. Do, I mean, it helped a little bit, but she, Eddard, and uh, Elijah all look really messed up right now. Okay, I'll just roll those out. So I got six to start with. You can divvy them up as you see fit. Okay. Uh, four on the second. Two. All right. Seven on the third. <coughs> okay. Ooh, ten. Nice. Alright. Eight. Okay. Three more. Yep. Five. Uh hang on a second. Okay, go ahead. Seven. Alright. And then three. Nice. Low rolls, but that's okay. Well, you got Grisha all yeah, the way up to full, and the other two would be much better. Yeah, if you want. So it's Grisha. <laughs> eight. Woo! Another eight. Another eight. Nice. Woo, woo. Noise. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. And then, let me make sure I cast that at, I think I cast at third level, so it was 2d6. What was your question? Uh, out of the order, who all is in here with us now. Currently, there is Eddard, the Protector, Elijah, the Changer, Grisha, the Healer, and uh, Eddard's daughter, his uh, apprentice. And then basically everybody else is the bad guys, or anybody we're missing that they- The only one, so Elysian is outside, uh, Alcazar is dead, and Willa is also outside. So that's all the order, but their uh, apprentices, Julius and Yakovi, you don't know where they are. Okay, mm-hmm. so that counts for everybody out of the. Yeah. Except for Lilith, who's missing. Oh, what did she do? I remember she did something. She was. Oh, didn't, wait a minute. She's the one who told. Unless I got it wrong, or you got it wrong. Isn't she the one who told. Yeah, man. Yeah, so <laughs> <me>. Salamander. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 so she kind of found out, you know, about like most of the stuff that's going down, and she thought it was probably a better idea if she didn't have her gate stolen here in the temple. Hmm. So, you know, she got out of Dodge, like, I don't know, right after you guys got here. So. Can you insight check that? Make an insight check. 16. Plus nothing. Sixteen. Sixteen? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Seems honest. Okay. Yeah, while we're conversing, while we're healing all this. Uh, well now you should know. You have no doubt that I'm the next bringer. Since I have brought you the knowledge that some members of the Order of the Eight are corrupt and evil for a long time. Right under your noses. You hear this loud <laughs> From the doors, the door kind of like rattles. Yeah, that's strong too. Let's go. Can we go? And yeah. <laughs> kind of like okay. walks with you, and he he looks at you. He slaps you on the like on the lower back, and just kind of smacks you forward. No doubt, you're our bringer. Let's go. <laughs> head off towards the uh, passage. So you head into the secret passage. You make your way down around the hallway, and into the pat like towards the bedroom. As you step in, you find the switch. You flip it. The uh, hearth opens up, revealing the staircase. 
Is everyone no following? Lucian in there? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can't see. I got freaking dark Can vision. I, I don't have dark vision. Somebody has a perception check. <laughs> <laughs> 15. 15. Plus eight, so is that 23? 23, okay. So uh, as you're wandering down the hallways, like as you guys are running, you hear the doors pounding, echoing from behind you. With the use of Bigby's hand, you botch yourself three more rounds, by the way. Nice. So uh, with Bigby's hand kind of imposing itself in front of that doorway, you can hear the slamming. Uh, as Eddard, as you guys continue running, about the time you get here, you you see as Eddard's face just kind of just kind of drops, and mm-hmm. you hear that loud kind of, and you hear the crackling of the lightning energy, and he kind of says, "Yeah, it's back now. Um, let's go, let's go, let's go, go, go." <laughs> Can I flip the thing down once we're in here to make it come back up and see what's in the passageway? Yeah, you can. So as you guys step one down to the passageway, yeah, that's all you hear at that point. Okay. Everything goes quiet as you kind of like make your way down into these the secret passage. There's this tunnel that leads deep within. Mm-hmm. Uh, as you get to the end, the doorway opens up and reveals that 60 foot drop in front of you. Mm-hmm. And at the very bottom of it, you see what appears to be this strange workshop. You see a large workbench kind of off to the left hand side. You see a great many cages. Um, that seemed like they were built for large beasts, kind of scattered and stacked throughout the room, barrels, crates, and That's in the where center over there. of the room, you see a very large uh, teleportation circle with several runes and kind of stonework etched around it. And he watches Elijah, kind of looks over and says, How the hell did we not know this was here? 60 Sal- feet down. <clears throat> I was going to comment. What's that? 60 feet down. 60 feet down. The better question is, how the hell are we going to get down? We've got rope. Do have rope. Do have rope. <laughs> I wonder if I have Good any Our Griffin's kind of... Uh, yeah, he's out of the count. <laughs> so... Rip. All right, does anyone have any um, pittens or anything we can attach the rope to? So that we can actually... Uh, I can make a ladder. <laughs> we're, we're, we're not the strongest bunch. I can also make a ladder if we want. Can you? All mm-hmm. the way down? 60 feet? Yeah. Oh. Shoot. Sure. Perfect. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. It's a lot of gold. Energy for that? Just make an elevator. Okay. Yeah. An elevator. Well. <laughs> <laughs> so. You can do that if we want. I mean, yeah, the hall, none of them have any kind of like feather fall or anything like that prepped. Uh-huh. So. Uh-huh. <laughs> I will make a ladder with performance of creation. Okay. If it's like, it's, um, how many gold pieces now? 20 times your bar level, so 20 times nine. So 180 gold pieces worth of a ladder. It doesn't, we just establish it, doesn't matter what size it is, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, it doesn't, wait, wait, you're right. I think it does matter. Um, For some reason. It's large. A large, so, yeah, so it could be a ten foot ladder. Oh, okay, might be. I thought it was just gold pieces. I'm connect it to my <laughs> my sword to one of them. So. I don't need all these. We could also just try a rope. I can rope. make two people fly. Yeah. Yeah. As as you feel like all the wizards kind of look around. I could levitate two people. You see, as Grisha kind of. Well, it's quite disappointing. You're surrounded by very powerful spellcasters, and not a single one of us can fly. And Edward kind of looks over. Doors don't fly and you know it. You fly now, Eddard. Slap him with fly. <laughs> <laughs> Get down there, you heck. <laughs> and you slap him. And he kind of like tumbles forward. He's, oh, you son of a... And he falls forward. There's a moment where he kind of hits off and, and he, you see as he drops and then he floats back up onto your level. Hold oh, bastard. Get down there. <laughs> and he watches, he kind of flies over and he grabs Mildred, his uh, his apprentice, and like picks her up and oh. flies flies her down. <laughs> he t- makes a few trips and he actually picks up one person at a time. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Down. You're really good at this, actually. So, how long does that last? Um, I'm not sure. I think it's 10 minutes, right? Yeah, I think so. It'd be plenty of time for him to get everyone down to the nice. bottom. Okay. So... At this point, uh, as you guys kind of all hit the bottom of the room, Elijah kind of looks around for a moment. He's, here's the big question, though, is where do we go? 
Uh, I don't know, we could go to Stonebrook. That's we where we needed to go, right? Go yeah. Cliffs. Either one will be fine. We can... Mm -hmm. Stonebrook? Mm -hmm. Stonebrook? Are you opposed to Stonebrook? Grisha kind of... I suppose we need to know where his plans are next. You had insight into his plans, did you not? We where do, is yes. he going? Uh, how far away is Stonebrook from Crescent Cliffs? About a day and a half journey, roughly. Not terribly far. How many days, Billy? When are we on? Do you need to be familiar 36. with the place? Well, do you know that? <laughs> thinking we could always go to the manor and we could, you know, that I, I don't know if he knows where I live or where my parents are, but we could always mm -hmm. meet. Edward there. kind of speaks up and says, I ain't going with you. I'm going to my homeland. I'll get reinforcements. That oh, sounds good. I mean, yeah. Fine with that. <laughs> Go <Yes>. ahead. <laughs> well, that worked. Go ahead with your bad so. Mm. <laughs> so we needed to let Stonebrook know, so we better not to backtrack. Mm -hmm. So Stonebrook. Okay. Yeah. So, was so yeah. at this point, Elijah just kind of very well. Stonebrook it is. And Grisha just kind of steps forward, and she you watch as she kind of like places her uh, hand on Artemis's shoulder and. Or on his like uh, elbow because she's very short. She kind of like pulls close. I will go with you there, but after that, I need to find Signa. My apprentice is apparently missing. And I don't know for how long she's been missing now. Understandable. Salazar's <laughs> kind of like, oh, yeah. I'm not going with you either. You know, I gotta, gotta go meet up with Lilith. She's waiting on me and all that. You know. Where so. is she? Well, I can't tell you that. You know, I've got to report back to her because, like, you know, she didn't know if she could trust anybody. In fact, this worked out really well. It's kind of what she was hoping for, you know, is that everybody would fight everybody and reveal who the bad guys really were. Mm -hmm. man, and she would stay out of it. Man, you yeah. guys, <laughs> y'all really stepped into that one, huh? <laughs> but at least now I can report back and, like, you know, tell her who she can trust. And, uh, yeah. Insight. I think. Damn right. Yeah. Yeah. Insight check. Yeah. yeah. That's better. Uh, 21. 21. Nice. I can trust it if you're not right. We can rain hell on you. <laughs> you believe him? As far as you can tell? Did you say this guy? Oh. I do like rain. <laughs> oh my god. It's gonna be fiery if you piss me off. Kyle looks at you. You're just like your old man. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I heard Lilith say Gilbert was a hot head too. That's why she liked him. She found him entertaining. I don't Anyways, think quite entertaining too. <laughs> I'm sure she'll see you all again real soon. Real soon indeed. Looking you know, forward you to share that. more in common than just this whole order. So anyways, um, Who's going to operate that thing, though? I don't know how to do it. I don't know. 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 Is the water the only one that knows how to do it? Elijah kind of goes, don't worry, I can handle it. Grisha says, I have also used one many a time. It will be fine. We will need to send through one at a time, depending on who wants to go where. What is your question, dearie? I just want to know how to do it. So for future reference, we can do it. Uh, <laughs> she kind of looks up at Elijah and says, Sure, I'll let you. You've all been to Stonebrook, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'll allow you to do it then. About this point, <laughs> you hear a voice. I don't think anyone's going anywhere. You hear this. <laughs> and as you kind of like shift out into the main area of this uh, room. You look around towards the teleportation circle. Coming out from behind the cages, you see the stone guardians, five of them, each one with a massive tower shield in one arm and a huge mallet in the other. As they step out, followed by Yakovi, who is, seems to have some kind of circlet around his head, as well as Elysian. As Elysian kind of steps out, well done! Keeping my army at bay for a short while. You didn't really think I was going to let you get out of here after you, well, 
let me know that you've been into this room? Why would I leave it unprotected? Now, here's what can happen. Give me the gate stones, and I'll let you have access to the portal. If you don't, you can die. See, I am nothing if not generous. Of course, just like our arranged for earlier, where, you know, all we had to do was give you the gate stones and, you know, no harm would come to us, yet Alcazar was standing there with um, full returns ready to kill us at any moment. Not to be completely fair, I didn't tell him to kill you. Of course you didn't. <laughs> just maim, right. Very well. Yukova, you know what to do. He takes a step back, vanishes. I need everyone to roll initiative for me. Oh my gosh, not again. Oh, it's just... My tongue, I should have said it. Where's my initiative always? Garbage! Yeah, I literally rolled in that one on initiative. That's tough. When do you do it? Alright. I can do it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I was munching. I'm cheap. Ouch. Damn it. There we go. So we're all like close to that teleportation circle, right? Close-ish. Ish. Mm. Ish. So, Ishy. Yeah, so would you mind getting that? Nice. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Alright. Can you so, put yeah. it on your full screen? What's that? For me. Zimmer, if you can. Uh, I cannot do this one full screen because it's because it's a. I realized what the problem was. It's because of, yeah, it's well. Hang on, I'm not gonna do it like this. Yeah, there's a yeah, that one. There we go. So that's them. That's them. Uh, and just this guy for you, Kobe. You hear as this uh, this all transpires. Eddard immediately kind of looks up and he says, "All right, whatever you'll do, don't fucking hit him with lightning." No, dude. <laughs> Cecilia will be at the top of the round. <laughs> Follow. Does anybody else have twenty-five or twenty to fifteen? No. Okay, so followed by Grisha, and then the Stone Guardians. Fifteen to ten. I got eleven. Oh my gosh, Artemis. Oh. He never rolls like higher than a. <laughs> I did win time. So you got 11? Yes. Cassius, what'd you get? Four. Oh. Not one. There's a so lot of people. Stone Guardians. Yeah, this is on initiative. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Stone Guardians. Fine. Alright, so it's then it's gonna be Adonath. Uh, I'll also take this down. <laughs> then Yakovi. What'd you get again? Six. Six, okay. So you two are gonna be no last. No lightning, no lightning, no lightning, no lightning. You're cool. Then, Frick. Cool. 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 What'd you say, Elijah, Eddard? Okay! Who is, who is after Eddard? Uh, it's Eddard then Mildred. What about Salazar and... Oh yeah, thank you. I forgot Salazar last time too. Hold on. Oh, Salazar. 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 
And you feel like 25. Damn! Oh my gosh! Jeez. Stay out of the way, man. <laughs> so Salzar will go first. I can take care of this. I don't need you guys. Okay, sorry. You said Mildred is out. Natural 20 plus 5. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna do Mildy. 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 Alright. Who's after Mildy? Uh, Artemis, then Casseros. And what about Elijah? He is uh, before Eddard. Oh, I already found him. Elysian, that's who I was. Elysian is no longer here. Okay. Bitch. He's gone. Yeah, what up? Mm-hmm. Party. What up, Casseros? Alright. Oh, man. Get good, dude. Good. Good morning. Here's Let's see. Salazar is going to uh, shift up a little bit. Actually, let me put him on the map. Where did he go? I had him. Oh, there he is. He is going to shift up. Actually, he's going to shift over to you, Casteros. He's going to say, hey, man, go wild. He claps you on the back and casts invisibility on you. Oh! And he's going to shift in this direction. Thanks, Salazar. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Will do. Adam, if you're up. Wait, what? Oh. Sorry, Cecilia. My bad. I was like, huh? <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, do I? I had Zephyr Strike in the last session. Does that mean it's still up? Question mark? How long does it last? I think it's just concentration. Yeah, if it's a minute, then it would have passed by now. Yeah, let me check. Because I might put it back up, if that's the case. Snapper strike. Honey. Up to one minute. Okay. Let's put this bad boy back on. <laughs> okay, so you put the snapper strike on. Action. Yeah. All right, so it's your bonus fine. action. You still got action, you got movement. You still got your bow drawn, too. Okay. And then that was my last first level spell. Um, uh, and uh, I will go ahead and move this direction, kind of separating the party All right. a little bit. And then... 30. And then I will shoot at the center guy. Shoot at the center, the, which one? Shoot your shot. When the shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. Jacoby or one of the guardians? One of the guardians. All right, take a shot. Mm-hmm. Actually, I take it back. I'm gonna shoot at you, Kobe. All right. Because he's a bee. <laughs> Get a bee. He may be controlling them too. Yeah. Hey, Kobe. Um, yeah. that's a 28. Yeah. Wow. Got yeah, nine. that'll hit. <laughs> wow. Got that'll, nine. Uh, Get him, girl. Nine. That'll hit. Great. Great. Uh, that's a 10. And that's then it. I'm gonna shoot again at him. Go for it. Um, uh, that's a 13. 13 misses, unfortunately. <laughs> so the first shot, you go shifting around as you're striking, you take, you, you line it, line it up, you fire, it sinks right into his hip, it kind of like sinks through, and he watches it tears through the flesh on the backside. He got ah, ugh. I really don't want to have to do this to second arrow as he says this goes flying, he kind of shifts his head. Please, just give up the gate stones. I really don't want to hurt any of you. Then don't. <laughs> Let me just line check. <laughs> He's just scared, I feel like. I'm gonna keep shooting. Got himself in a bad situation. Do not feel bad. Shut up. Got himself in a bad situation. It's hard to say. I don't care. He chose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so does that end your turn, CC? That's movement, yeah. action, bonus action, Grisha. Now she is going to see what she's got left over here. She Huh, yeah, no, that's the first thing she's gonna do. Risha immediately casts a film that she kinda of looks over at your artist. You know, you should probably do this too. Did she cast mage armor on herself? <laughs> I'm still there. Oh, you're just still there? <laughs> yeah, oh, you still had up? Okay. Yeah, it was from whenever <laughs> the time before that I She's didn't do it the first still. time in the morning. Shift recover <laughs> around this corner. <laughs> so that's going to end her turn. Stone Guardians. Are 
are now going to begin to make their march forward. This one is going to march over to Sicilia. This one's marching to Sicilia. This one's marching towards Mildred. This one's marching towards Elijah. This one's going to... It's gonna... Yeah, it's gonna dash. To get to Adnath. All right, so... Two of them. Alex. Ah, ah. So, first one is going to make two attacks against you, Cecilia. Okay. Uh, what's that? Oh no. I quit. Oh no. Yeah. Okay, it's so a good for us. Two nat ones. Two nat ones. Two natural ones. Woo! Look at Universe this shit. said no, bitch. Oh, no, get out of here. I'm too I'm taking a picture. Stretch. Stretch. I'm taking a picture of this garbage. I quit. I quit. <laughs> I quit. 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 I Oh, I rolled a 16. The other 16. one's going to be 19. Oh, I rolled a 16. The other one's going to be 19. Okay, <laughs> that hits. All right, you're going to take... I didn't know I wish, I wish the first strike had a reaction. You're going to take nine points of bludgeoning damage, and on the strike, as he hits you with that mallet, he hits you with such force, the first one swings twice. You kind of step out of the side. The second one kind of comes up under behind your calf, catches you under the knee, and flips you up on your ass. You are prone. <laughs> the other one is going to make two strikes against Mildred. Uh, one's going to hit, one's going to miss. Or was it thunder? Lightning. Okay. Cool. That's what he said. That's what he meant. <laughs> Mildred gets walked and goes prone. No, with the strike. You see, as it it's comes wrong, forward, right? as it kind of like takes the first swing, she dodges back. The second one, it comes across and hits her in the head, knocks her prone. One's going to attack against Elijah. Uh, ooh, no. So the first one's going to hit. It's going to get advantage on the oh. second one's right. Wait, why? Because it knocks him prone on the first one. Oh, I just forgot that I got advantage on my other shot. I gotta remember that. <laughs> oh, from Zephyr Strike? Yeah, I yeah. got advantage. You, you still, you can, yeah, you can still hold it till the next turn. As long is as it I need to make a concentration check, though. Oh, true. Because you took damage. True. Oh, no. It's down. <laughs> oh. It's gone. That's a, that's a three. So that's only five. Rip. Never mind. So Elijah, you see as Elijah gets cracked in the head as he goes down, the second mallet smashes him in the knee and you hear as it shatters his knee upon impact. Wow. Uh, that's going to end their turns. Adonith, you're up. Get off of us. And I'm going to thunder wave yeah. both of them right in front of us. All right. The first one. Constitution save. Yeah. Just the first level. DC 16. First one rolls a 12, so fails. The second one rolls a 22. So the um, first one gets knocked back, takes the damage. Go ahead and roll. 10 points. All right. So half does five, and then the other one of them gets pushed. So the one that's on Elijah, you blow it back. As it goes skidding across the stonework from your thunder wave. And then bonus action, I'll go into my archer form and I will send um, an arrow at the one I just pushed back. All right, make an attack roll. 18 plus. 18 plus hits. Oh, right. You guys are rolling Nice. Good. Good. And then can I just, for flavor, reach my hand down to help pick him up? Um, yeah, oh, I got you. Yeah, like, so not actually when he, when pick he gets him up, his yeah, turn, I got you. when it's his turn. Yeah, so as you, so I do need to put him down for one quick. Got you, so you extend your hand down, he's like, thanks. 
Does that end your turn? Mm hmm. Kobe is going to look towards Cecilia. He's going to say, I suggest you toss your weapon away. No! <laughs> no, 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 no! I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. No, what a hope! You dead? Are you dead? You do dead, sir! <laughs> Are you 30 feet from me? Is she 30 feet from you? 10, 15, no. 20, 25. No, she is not. She's about 15. She has to be 30 feet. What is it? It's a 15. Wait. 15? Should I add this? Let me make sure it's 30 feet. Do you? You don't have to. I, 30 feet? Don't, don't feel that. So. 15. I'm he just said. I'm gonna wait. He just said this weapon. That's true. <laughs> so. As you hear his words crawl into your mind, you take your bow and just just hurl it across the room. Okay. I know. Love that. <laughs> With that, Yakobi is going to... <laughs> 30, you're going to shift around here to get a little cover. It's going to end his turn. I'm scared. Elijah is going to stand up. And then... You gotta check back at what all they can do. Because everyone's got a different so spell lot. It's okay, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. You're doing great. You're doing great, darling. He is going to. Oh, I got one. This is fun. Quick question Is that um, circlet around Yukobi's head like glowing or anything? Or is it just there? It's just there. You just kind of notice that it's there. Okay. You're not sure what it does. You just don't remember him having it before. In the distance. All right. So you got a short in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so that, bad. he is going to extend his hand forward and say, Yakobi, stop. Right there. Yakobi has to make a wisdom save. I come at you. <laughs> now, you see, as he's running around that corner, as Elijah casts the whole person and kind of extends his hand forward, you see as there's this moment where Kobe kind of stops and then that circle oh, glows. And he jump, shakes it off and shifts around the corner. Uh, the heck? Oh. You know. As Elijah kind of, huh, thought that would work. Eddard. Gonna take a roll from you. He's gonna step forward and he's gonna cast Thunder Wave at third level. So that guy's got a big concept. Failure. I would like to note Eddard is still flying if he wants. That is true. He is still flying. How 60 fun. feet. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, not for this one. He's not okay, okay, no. He's gotta be down. He's gotta okay, away. Okay. Stone Guardian gets shifted back off of Mildred. Mm. Doing math and. Doing the math. Mildred's gonna stand up. I'm gonna stand up <laughs> next to you. <laughs> <laughs> she is going to hurl a firebolt mm. at. The one that he just hit. And she's gonna miss. She kinda slings the firebolt forward. She's then gonna take two steps back. Mildred. <laughs> Artemis, so you're right. up. So we're right, Mildred. Castro, you're right. on deck. Okay, okay. I can't see me. Which one am I? Green guy. Me. I know, but I still can't see. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do I see uh, Jackass? Jackass. You Kobe? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah. From your vantage point, oh, yeah. yeah, you can just barely see him. How far? About 55, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80 feet. Mm -hmm. Is he taking any damage? Yeah, he's taking a little bit of damage, I think. Wait. Let me see. Yeah, he has taken some damage. Well, I've seen him do so. Whatever else. I've really seen him fight, 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 you know. Fight, fight, no, fight. No, you're not. Okay. 
Not 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 fight fight. You no, just see him cast some spells. Not fight fight. Just fight. fight fight. Just fight. Just fight. Okay. Fight. He fights the way you fight. <laughs> <laughs> Fireball. Oh. Third Jeez. level. Let's see. Get Fireball. Oh, <laughs> spicy. Spicy. It is spicy. Shit, he does not have fun. Oh. Fuck. All right, deck save. Yeah. Uh, that's gonna be uh, 18. So you'll take half damage. Yeah, Can I minus eight? Or no? My inspiration from his roll? No, you cannot. It's oh, an inspiration on your roll. It doesn't work like the dagger. Dang it. No. <laughs> There's gonna be no great use to it. No. Okay. No. It's just every time he raises the dice, no, no. <laughs> Can I use it? <laughs> How about now? Yeah. Or not, it's going to be time for that one. <laughs> I don't want to forget about it, so I want to use no, it that's early fair. on. That's fair. 27. I can't add it to anyone's though, right? It doesn't have to just be my thing. I think it's just yours. Oh, so. really? Mm-hmm. So, I think that was the point. You mm-hmm. want it. You as you did. Did. it casts okay. this fireball no. forward, it hurls itself across as it explodes. Um, you watch as the flames, as they begin to dissipate, they kind of... <laughs> some of them kind of absorb into this ring on his finger. You do see as he got hurt a little bit, but it seems like some of the fire just absorbed into a ring that's on his finger. You see as it kind of glows a bit. Okay, and... Where is the monkey butt boy? <laughs> <laughs> he, got, he knew what he was coming against. He knew what he was about to fight against. <laughs> so the guardians over there next to whoever's down. The Here. guardian is next to Cecilia. Yeah, she's where down. she's down. She I is down. I don't want to go and let the mage hand do a telekinetic shove, please. All right. What kind of save is that? That's a, uh, gosh, I just, yes, yes, yes. It's, a, it's got to be. Natural 20 on that save. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, he does not get moved. Hurts. And then I've got 30 feet of movement, correct? Yep. How far does 30 feet get me if I try and go between the guardians? Do they get a protective opportunity? Um, That's the difference. No, you got, there's like one little spot here that you can slide through. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. No, <laughs> I just slide so through there. Excuse me. Oh, excuse, <laughs> me. Excuse, <laughs> me. Excuse, excuse me. 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 Pardon. That's. <laughs> All right, Casper, you're up. All right. Let me squeeze on. I'm going to whisper because I'm invisible. Your mom's a hoe. <laughs> and send a little chat bubble <laughs> to. Like how many are there in ten feet by CC? Can I get all three uh, or just the two? You get within ten feet of, t- of CC. Yeah. Only just the two of them. Okay, I'll cast shatter. Shatter. Is it ten feet? For what? It's sixty feet, but it's the the actual thing is a ten foot radius. So twenty feet. Yeah, you get all three of them. Oh shoot! That's why I was asking. I say what ten? Oh, they're Yeah, you get all of them. Oh, yeah, you do that. Cool. One hundred percent. I do that. First one. Fails, uh, no failure. Okay. Second one. Uh, 18. Succeeds. Yeah. Third one. 14? Fails. All right, so two failures, one success. Right? Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. 11, I rolled really bad. I don't want to talk about it. Yes. 11 total damage, so have damage is damage, right. I guess. Damage is um, And then, hmm. Bonus action. Do they just take damage or does something else happen to them? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they take. So, as the uh, thunderous kind of boom shatters out, you watch as bits of stone flake off them and they kind of crack. Yeah, that hurt. Okay. All right. They take okay. that. All right. Um, <laughs> and then, let's see. Oh, it also says creatures made of inorganic materials such as stone, crystal, or metal have disadvantage on this saving throw. Fair point. Just fun fact. I just know that. Fail. Let me re-roll for the okay, last thanks, one that thanks. succeeded. <laughs> it's a uh, 15. Fails. <gasps> Fails. Takes full 11. Take full. Yay. I just saw that. Yeah. Sorry. Right. Okay. You're good. Um, and then, um, 
I'm going to, since I'm invisible, just slide straight in between Elijah and Eddard and okay. go towards the portal. Oh, as soon as you cast a spell, it oh, drops. It's, it's just regular invisibility. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, in that case, could I have moved before casting that? Let me check something real quick. So I might have been there wrong. Yeah. If it's greater invisibility. Let me see invisibility. Yeah, it is touch. I want to make sure you can yeah. cast that on you. I got to think about it. That's just, <laughs> so I'm pretty sure it's a touch spell. Yeah. yeah so it's just real. So it did drop. Okay. So now you are visible again. Okay. Um, could I have, on my turn, since I didn't know that, like moved before casting yeah, the spell? Yeah, totally. We're so I'll just go it. straight past this guy's. So. Like towards the teleportation five, yeah, circle. 15, 20, I got you. So yeah. you'll move there and then cast it. Yeah. yeah it's just regu regular visibility. Cool. Salazar is kind of like, way to go, man. Way to go, <laughs> oh guys, bro. Anything else? I'm good. just going to say, Elijah, tell us how to use this thing. And that's it. Because he never finished explaining. <laughs> well, he kind of, is, he'll take his reaction to respond and he's going to say, ah, takes a minute. Okay. Okay, buddy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> With that, Salazar is going to shift over and he's going to get kind of like walk over to you. Go, it's your turn, hon. <laughs> Slaps you on the back of the head. You oh, turn dude. invisible. <laughs> With that, he's going to shift around behind these crates. Oh. What a goon. It's playing tag. Uh, <laughs> CC, you're up. <laughs> um, uh, okay. I threw my bow. Love mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I'm prone. Also love that. Um, uh, I'm gonna reach for my uh, staff then, <laughs> and uh, can I like try to take out their ankles and whack them while I'm down? Yeah, uh, you can make attack rolls with disadvantage while you're wrong. Disadvantage? So can I get up and then do that? Or yeah, you can get up and do that. I'll do that. Yep. For, flavor. for flavor. We'll allow you to do it. We'll, do, we'll let you do like the whole like stick up. Yeah, yeah. Just while I'm getting <laughs> up. All right, go for it. Make an attack roll. Yeah, we'll let you do like for, for flavor. You can do the whole uh, like street dancing thing. Flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Please be good. Uh, Twenty-four. Um, that's eleven. That's gonna be us. You get another attack though. Yeah, I do. You got it. <laughs> Go CC. Which dice? <laughs> oh, that's better. That's a nineteen. Nice. 19 hits. Okay. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> Sorry, we got a subscription, guys. Thank you so much for oh, subscribing. Oh, that's oh, so nice. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Wow, what uh -huh. our stresses. Thank you, I subscribed. Oh, it's Aor. It's Aor. It's Aor. Aw. Thanks, Aor. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, aw. Oh. Okay. So. Um, that's a D8. Let me just... Um, uh... Seven points. Seven points. Oh, nice. All right. Anything else? As you spin around, the first one you hit, but you just don't have enough force behind it to kind of slap through the next one, you manage to crack a big chip out of the stonework. Alrighty. Um, uh, I haven't done it. Where's that? I haven't yet. I haven't thought it was going to be fast. But that is a good point, because yeah. I also have to recast, so I'm debating on which one to do first. Um, uh, is Yakobi still in eyesight, or is he just around? He's out of your sight. He's out, out of your line of sight, yeah. Okay. Well, with that being said, I am going to recast. Okay, so you're going to recast. Running away. All right, so you bonus action, does recast. Anything like else? We're getting out of the way, at least. Oh. Do you want me to back up, is the question. Because that's two. Yeah. Yeah. Let's well, not. <laughs> Let's not and say we did. Yeah. All right, with that... Risha. Yeah. I guess it's not too fast. Let's <laughs> see if, they, if they're. Oh, yeah. She's doing that one. Grisha, she's going to just very daintily, like, step here. She just very casually oh, walks around beside you. And you see, she kind of looks and she smiles. She reaches forward. That's quite enough. And she touches the stone. <laughs> She's gonna make an attack first to see if she touches the stone. Stop. Oh, it's a natural twenty. Oh, oh yes. Yes. Well, this is even better. You got it, lady card. Let's go. Oh my god. This is about to be the best thing ever. <laughs> um, yeah, this man. Actually, it, it, she is. 
my favorite. She truly. Yeah. Truly. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. I, I am so proud of you. <laughs> it was an honor. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's a bomb or a spell. If she gets a crit card, does she get a crit card? She does not get crit cards. Oh, you Jamie, guys get crit not? cards. Oh, it's all right. She's a part of the party. party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You watch as she reaches her hand forward and kind of gently touches the stone as it raises its mallet. You see is about 60% of the stone on its armor just shatters and turns to dust as it goes scattering around it. And you see as it kind of like flies off, all the magic that, that's holding it together, a lot of it seeps into her and her veins begin to bulge. That feels a lot better. What do you think? Well, you really do pack a punch. Do you think you could teach me how to do that one day, please? <laughs> One day, she kind of turns and she just nods and smiles. <laughs> With that, however, the Stone Guardian is going to make an attack against you. <laughs> oh, natural 20 against you, Cecilia. Oh, wait. <laughs> I was laughing. Wait, laughing she immediately like, stops. Yep. This oh, isn't no. an absorber. Oh, no. I can't. Dang wait, it. It's no. not a thunder. Uh, you're going to take. Cecilia? Oh. You take 19 points of bludgeoning damage okay. and get knocked prone. Bye bye. As you, as you, you're, you're so fixated and enamored on Grisha that you don't see the mallet coming as it cracks you in the shoulder and spins you around. You hit the ground. It's gonna attack you again. Okay. Yay, yay. Uh, that's a 17 to hit. Yeah. Boy, I just chipped you once. What the heck? Uh, you're gonna take 14 points of bludgeoning damage from that one. Okay. As you hit the ground, it just wallops you again. The other one is going to strike Grisha. Yeah, it's going to knock her down too as it hits her. Grisha hits the ground. Is this going to take its vengeance and try and hit her again? Oh my gosh. Stop that. No. That is absolutely atrocious. All right. Get off. So it's literally beating up an old woman right now. Yeah, it is. So. Think it's about a that. Bitch move. Pretty rude. Pretty rude. No one has right. any manners in this place. Mm -hmm. no. The other one. This one is going to shift around to catch up to Artemis. This one's going to hey. shift around to you. This one cannot see you, okay. so it's going to go to Elijah. One attack against you, Casseros. 21 to hit. Yeah. So you're going to yeah. take. Uh, 11 points bludgeoning damage on the first strike. You get knocked prone. Oh. Makes the next attack. <laughs> okay. Uh, 14. To hit? Yeah. No. So the first attack hits <laughs> Izzy as you're no, running towards, uh, <laughs> towards Jacoby. The first one comes up behind you and he cracks you on the back of the head. You hit the ground. As you're kind of dazed, you roll over just in time to see the mallet swing down as you sw like kind of roll out of the way. Uh, Artemis, natural one on the first strike. This is. Uh, I hate these holes. Uh, 17. <laughs> Shield. Shield? Nice. So as it runs up behind you, you, it swings the first time and it kind of misses. You hear it now, you turn around, as it swings again, you throw up a shield and block it. Uh, that one's going to attack Elijah. It said natural 20, nah, went to a 18 instead. So it does hit him, he can go prone. Gonna strike him again. Mm -hmm. And it's, yeah, no, I didn't need to roll that. You watch as Elijah the first strike as he sees you disappear and he turns kind of back towards the battle. The first one cracks him in the jaw, sends him up, and he hits the ground and goes unconscious. The second attack comes down and as it hits him in the head, you watch as it just kind of. With the impact, you see is his nose breaks and blood just begins to spew. So he is unconscious. That's going to end their turn. It is your turn, Adna. Uh -huh. All right. There's no way for me to impose myself, is there? You're invisible, Caroline. Like, in between the Guardian and him? Oh, no. 
Yeah, because there's no space. Yep. Okay. Um... However, you can move without taking an attack of opportunity, because you are invisible. Mm. Alright, I'm actually going to cast... Oh, that changes everything I was about to do. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <laughs> uh, I'm going to... <laughs> Cast, uh, lean down and cast Cure Wounds at 4th level. Are you going to move first, or are you going to stay where you're at? Do I have to move? No, 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 I'm just curious if you want to move while you're invisible to get out of the attack of opportunity range, or if you want to stay where you're at. Um, I mean, I guess I can move behind him so that... Sounding like me? Yeah. <laughs> that's why, that's like, why I was yeah, asking. Right yeah. there. I don't want to get... He like, no. All right. Yeah. So you reach down, you <laughs> place your hand on his bleeding face. Yeah. Oh. Cast your wounds. Okay, 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 okay. Three sevens, which is... Fourteen. Plus seven is twenty-eight. Come on. Thirty. Thirty-four. What level would you cast that at? Fourth. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> you watch. It's like, no, it is the me. best, no, it is the best rhinoplasty you've ever seen. And it happens immediately. Oh my god. His nose just kind of like, it's sinking into his upper jaw and it just got, <laughs> and you see as it, some of his teeth kind of like shift off the ground and back into his mouth. Uh, the lips seal back up and his eyes kind of open. His brow kind of recracks as the skull forms. It's full shape again, and he immediately just goes, Oh, oh God! I'm sorry, are you all right? Better now, thank you. <laughs> all right. Anything um, else? So the bonus action. Um, since I cast a spell, I came to, um, so I will send um, an Flabbergasted bonus action, Archer, towards the one that's on Kesseros. Okay, make an attack. Oh, thank you. Yeah, see. Um, 18. 18 hits. How are they all looking? Uh, 11 points. <laughs> <laughs> They're made of stone. The only one that's looking really rough is the one that, that Grisha just basically yeah, tore the ass off of. Yeah, I'm actually kind of shown these. Just about. If it wasn't that one, if it was the other one, it wouldn't mm-hmm. have been gone. Okay, okay. How much damage? 11 Sorry. points. 11 points. All right. Anything else? And just see a bonus action action. You can move mm-hmm. if you want to move. Um, yeah, I'll move to shift around behind it. Oh, he's a spellcaster. Um, no, no, no. Uh, behind the stone oh, guardian, yeah, to like flank it. Mm-hmm. All right. Your turn? Yeah. All right, at the end of your turn, it is Jacoby's turn. He's going to take a step right here. <laughs> no, my God. Mm. Sorry, Hunter, that was 32. Ooh, 32. Yeah, not 34. That's too so, much. <laughs> oh, yeah, not that that makes sense. Yeah. He's fine. He's fine. He's much better. Yes. <laughs> okay. He's looking much better. With his two H. Okay, let me see. What does mm. it do? I don't like this. I don't like it. I don't like it. Let me look one thing up real fast, but I'm pretty sure that I know how this works. Oh my gosh. I need Artemis, Castros, and Cecilia to all make wisdom save throws. As Jacoby <laughs> takes a step out from behind here, he extends his hands forward, his eyes go like glow blue. He says, You all need to stop right there. Stop. Oh. Uh, this is a spell. It is a spell. Ooh. Wisdom? So. 
I'll get advantage, but my question is if I was to choose a reaction and counter spell. You've already count you've already used your reaction for shield. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna roll with advantage. Because of the uh <laughs> mantle of spell resistance. Oh yeah, you didn't get advantage. Mm -hmm. Finally got you. Yeah, you got yeah. you. Alright, yeah. so you got with advantage. What's yours? Two. Failure. Two. You feel as well your, your muscles yeah. begin to tense up and kind of you're having a hard time moving and you break out of it. Castro's, you just <clears throat> stop. You are frozen. This you are giving Lafleur flashbacks. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> this old person. Yeah, that he's going to shift around this. You bring the name up now. Out of <laughs> sight of everyone else. Actually, you know what? No, he's not. After you casting that fireball, he's going to ship four. Uh -oh. Right next to you, Artemis. That's me. Yep. He's going to shift 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Well, not quite, but he's going to get close to you. Let's get his turn. Elijah is going to stand up. He's good up, Donning. <laughs> and. Oh, yeah. Got to keep up with some of the spells, guys. <laughs> oh, I mean, the spell. He is going to. It's going to cast Chromatic Orb. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's been a long okay. time since I've used this spell. Yeah. I've never actually like used it before. Like it's cool. going to do it at level it's two. Cool. Fancy. Cool. <laughs> He's going to do. He's gonna hurl it over at the one that's attacking Casseros. Natural. <laughs> no, it's not. So it doesn't matter. As he conjures up this, he kind of you watch as he pulls this crystal out from his pocket. He shifts around. He watches it begins to go through all the colors of the rainbow, and then it settles on red. And it catches fire. He hurls it forward. The stone guardian. It just goes right over his head. <laughs> and Elijah's like. You might be saying double just a little. You did get knocked it's, it's pretty hard. Yes. Right. <laughs> yes. Probably just don't go to sleep. Oh that's what I've heard. Yeah. Yes. So that's going to end this turn. <laughs> Eddard. Oh, oh. Eddard is going to shift over to help you, though. Oh. Yes, he's going to get right here and Eddard. cast a Thunder Wave. I think he's Small bros. Yes. Small bros. Short king. Short king. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think I struck a nerve. <laughs> As he casts Thunder Wave and blows this guy back a few feet to get him off of you, Casseros. My hero. Mildred My hero. is going to shift forward and she's going to cast a firebolt at the one that's on Elijah. There's a hit. And I need Artemis. What you got? What am I supposed to roll? It's your turn. It's your turn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you want to roll? What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got a, a, yeah. A stoner behind me. Yeah. Yeah, man. All right. Yeah. Talzo's not far from you, bro. Yeah. Yeah. All right, it's well, I'm going to uh, bonus. Yeah, he's just chilling. He's just I'm going to bonus, bonus right action there. against the stone <laughs> guardian and try and, you know, uh, strength save. Strength save? For, yeah, telekinesis like shove. Uh, ten failure. Okay. You get shoved back just a, just enough off of you to give you some space to run. Do I know enough about the whole the whole thing on the teleportation? If I was to go in and start a process, can I lead and not? Yeah, you cannot. You'd have to focus on it. So if I go in and don't do anything, I'm not teleporting. Oh yeah, correct. Yeah, you can go to teleportation circle and just chill. Oh, okay. I really thought this circle was gonna be like all of us at once. <laughs> yeah. Like this one at a time business. I don't know. It's not thing. one at a time. It's just one group at a time. Depending on where you want to go. Oh. So you don't okay. all go to the same place. Okay. You go to different I places. See, I see. Okay. Okay. So okay. 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 It's okay. a little bit better. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, good luck. I will use my movement to go to the center of the 
circle or however far I can okay. go. I guess I guess I need to be in the center. I don't know enough about the free thing to go inside. Okay. And I'm going to uh, make some gestures to my hands. Say some garbage to Jacoby. Okay. Jacoby. Jacoby. <laughs> What's his name? Jacoby. Yeah. I'm sticking with Jack. Yeah. Okay. You did call him bidding, uh, Yakov, so. <laughs> Yeah, off, off. Yeah, and uh, he's uh, going to need to go and make a uh, wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving as throw. Phantasmal killer at fourth level. Mm, that's going to be close. That's going to be real close. He doesn't have another use. Wisdom save? Mm -hmm. 16. 17. Ooh. Oh, baby. Nice. Through his deepest oh. fears of all the golden mass <gasps> turning upon him, as the shards and everything in his realm of what he thought was going to happen all crumble and fall away. Okay. And he's frightened for the duration at the end of each turn where it ends he's going to take 4d10 so does that mean at his, his, his turn he takes his 4d10 yeah. 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 so as you cast this spell he suddenly looks around and starts shivering and shaking and where's everything go what's happening anything else uh, and I'm just going to I'm leaving with the shards. All right. So, Casters. Do I have to try and break out of this thing? Hold first. Oh, yeah, you need to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, wait. No, it's still going. He hadn't taken damage yet. So, yeah, wisdom saving okay. throw. Sorry. Okay. So, to add this eight, do, no, I, add it. do I have to wait for you? I can't wait you for just you. Can't, you, can't, you, can't, you can't know that now. Come. It's a 16. What's your wisdom save? Nothing. I feel like I should add it. Yeah, I, I want to get out of this. I want it, you know. It's a 16 plus 3. It's a 19. Success. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Success. Okay, good. As you yeah. finally kind of shake loose yeah, from the whole person. Yeah. <laughs> good thing I know how to be a bard. So, <laughs> it's uh, about my spell. That's the end of your turn, though, if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check it. Yeah, is it just that? Yeah, yeah. I don't. Person. Do I mean, even have movement or anything? Maybe another wisdom saving throw at the end of each turn. So, yeah, so at the end of your turn, you are broken okay. free, but okay. it ends your turn. Okay. Top of the round, Salazar <laughs> is going to run <laughs> around here. I think he's got. It's <laughs> yeah, sure, but I think he's kind of wild. Making us all invisible. Can't just hit him. It doesn't change him. Oh. So, so, who's going to Stonebrook? Us and Elijah? And Grisha. I really don't care where I'm going now. I just want out. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Fair. He does. He's got one more. He's gonna run over to Elijah and be like, "Yo, man. I mean, that looked like it hurt. You, you probably, need, you should probably run." And he's gonna turn Elijah invisible, <laughs> and then immediately shift back a little bit. Um, CC, you're up. All right. Let's do this. Um, uh, I'm gonna do this at first straight. Can I do it second? I don't know. It doesn't add anything, it's you, just that's what's available. Yeah, you guess it's separate. Okay. Second that's fine. Um, uh, first. And uh, I'm going to get up and I am going to back up. Okay. You're going to step back? Was that for strike? Back, yeah. Ten. Um, uh, but kind of still behind Grisha because I'm going to shoot at him. Okay, so she's still keeping you within shot and getting yeah. behind her. Gotcha. And Which one? The left or the right? Um, uh, the left one. This guy, right? Or the right one, because, yeah. Yeah, my right one. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay. Yes. Okay, make a tackle. And don't forget your advantage, because it's a strike. Yes. If you want to take it. Oh, no. I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. That's tough. That was a nine. It is. Okay, um, plus nine, so 18. 18 hits. Roll damage. That's an extra take. That's good. Nice. Eight nice. plus seven, so fifteen plus three. Eighteen points. 
Ooh, it gets turned Ooh, to yeah. dust. It crumbles as it's already taken a ton of damage from whatever the hell Grisha did, and then you just light its ass up. Okay. And uh, I also going to shoot the other one. I get a attack roll. Uh, that is a dirty 20. Dirty 20 hits. Roll damage. Is that an extra D8 again with Zephyr? No, it's just, just on the one. one. Just on the one, yeah. Eight points. Eight points? Nice. This one kind of slams into its left shoulder. You see its impacts and breaks down through into some of the gears and the cogs that kind of turn this thing. Mm-hmm. And it <clears throat> is having this moving really slow now. Okay. Good shot. Anything else? Yeah, I can't help Grisha or anything or like attend to her. In Unfortunately not. Okay, so yeah. no. She is going to stand to her feet. Oh, it is her turn. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to stand to her feet. Just kind of. Well, how unfortunate for you. This time she misses. As she swings forward, Aww. this creature, however, how kind far of away catching. Is she? she is from you. Yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20. Wait. 30, 35, 40. Damn it. Yeah. So she misses, unfortunately, as she swings forward. So the creature this time <laughs> kind of range. catching on to what she's doing. It takes a step back. It's growing more intelligent as the battle goes on. She's going to try to back away. She's going to take the attack opportunity. She's got to get whopped. No! She's no. going to go uh, down on the ground. Mm-hmm. She Ish. took a chance and she lost. Your old lady likes and she takes a step back, away. tries to get away. The creature manages to crack her in the side of the shoulder, kind of knocking her down. It is now its turn. It is going to take an attack against her. Oh my gosh. That ain't okay. No. Risha goes unconscious. And it's going to hit her again. Risha is gets hit. You just see as she goes unconscious with the first swing, it just brings that hammer back and just hammers her down again. You just hear bones cracking. It's going for the kill at this point. It's going to end its turn. No. This one is going to shift towards Castro's. This one's going to shift towards Castro's because he's on the ground. (laughs) First one is a uh, 25 to hit. Yeah. (laughs) You be hitting. Uh, 13 points bludging damage. Okay. Second attack. Um, is a 14? I think that, I'm that sorry, 16. Uh, it's... Yeah, 16. <laughs> sure. That's uh, 15 points. Okay. The second one's going to attack twice. Uh, 19. Yeah, I hit. Yeah, I hit. 10 points bludgeoning damage. I It's going to hit you one more time. Natural 20. Oh my god. Just like that. I'm about to be dead. <laughs> 16 points bludgeoning. It's not like... Wow. And you guys are watching as now Castro's is just getting a whale on. What are you doing? Can you stop kicking? I'm just like looking around and all these people are on the ground. He's going to strike out of it. 14. Miss. He's going to try and attack again. Uh, 25. Yeah, You're going to go on the ground. You're going to take 10 points bludgeoning damage. As you go down prone. That's gonna end their turn, Adam. You're up. <sighs> Casper, are so you unconscious or are you still standing? I'm still standing. No one is dying on me today. I'm going to cast Healing Word on Grisha at second level. Do the thing. Four. I feel like this was five. This was a ploy to um nine. <laughs> nine. <laughs> <laughs> Do not let us have any allies. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> it's just a tough battle to see if you can save some of your allies. Uh, nine points. Nine points. Mm-hmm. So, Risha oh. comes back to life. And she got. <gasps> oh, I'm too old for this. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Um, can I use half my movement to stand up, yep. please? And then I will send a produce flame at the one that's behind me that's. Megan Sacral. Casper's 17. 17 hits. Alright. Two points. Two Wait. points. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, okay. What? 
Oh, you hit the yeah, one. Yeah, I hit the one, one, yeah. I thought you hit me two points. I was like, Wait, I mean... you roll two damage dice for it now, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're right, you're right, you're, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. That's cool. You're right. Oh, Ten points. Yeah. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Ooh. Much better. <laughs> About to say, I think you guys are more powerful than that now. You're right, you're right, you're right. Sorry. Anything else? No. <laughs> Just call me your healer. <laughs> All right, with that, Yakovi is going to return the favor on you, uh, Artemis. He's going to cast Fireball in your direction. and you make a dexterity saving throw. He's with advantage, because of your spell. Oh, my to the chalice for him instead. I see him casting chalice. something. You do see him casting he something. I've been healing so much. Yeah. Though. And if I can, when I know if I counterspell, that didn't break his, uh, my concentration or any of his stuff on his, uh, Fear. uh, no, if you counterspell it, you just counterspell it. Okay. Okay, counterspell it. Third level. All right, so he goes to extend his hand, and he's so frightened, he's trying to conjure this up. He's, <laughs> and he kind of, Tries to find your position, but you just block the kind of his spell. And as it fades, his eyes kind of go wide. Is he? Where's my power go? What's happening to me? Roll the forty ten of damage at the end of his turn. Fourteen and eight is twenty two. Twenty-two points. If fourteen and eight. I can't add. Yeah. <laughs> uh, his eyes All begin right. to bleed. His nose begins to bleed. His ears begin to bleed. As he just, you watch as the fear sets in, and he kind of starts to shake, and he just drops to his knees. I didn't want any of this. Let us go, and it can all be over with. It's gonna end his turn. Elijah, being invisible now. <laughs> Get away. He's got to shift yeah. over yeah. this way. He's zooming. Zooming. And... <laughs> yeah, he's going with his old tried and true. As he's going to get advantage on this attack roll with Yakovi, kind of pivot on one hand, or one foot, and summon all those ice daggers, and he's going to throw. <laughs> and both of those are going to hit. You watch as Yukovi just sits there for a moment. He looks up at you for a brief second, Artemis, and then he just gets impaled from the left side. One knife sticking into his throat, another into his skull, the other into his rib cage and his arm as he just kind of and he falls. No. I Should have followed Shut up. <laughs> 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 this is Henry all over again. Yeah, sad times. You're just Listen. in it. Edward's turn. He chose poorly. <laughs> Edward is <laughs> going to. I agree with that. You know what Edward's going to do? Dummy. Because I'm about to help you out here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play the rules a little bit for you. Because you, he can fly. And you're Not still, still crawling. Right? Oh, wait, that's right. You want to con. Did yeah. you go? Yeah, no, you, would have, no you would have had to make so many con saves. I mean, yeah. make them. I make mean, them. <laughs> it's fine. It's I fine. feel like I cast a concentration spell. It's That's totally fine. fine. What's going to happen here is he is going to lean down to your level. Keep your head down, boy. And he's going to cast a thunder wave upwards. Because it is a 10-foot cube, a 15-foot cube. And he's going to get both of them, but that. it's going to get real loud. Oh my gosh. Boom. Technically speaking, the way the rules work is if it's over your head, it's a 10-foot cube. He really? can start at the bottom of it at any point. I ah, so. know that. And he's so small, he's like basically... One of them fails. Stay in the dark box. The other one succeeds. Stay in the dark box. <laughs> one of them gets yeeted off of you. Yeet flies ah. backwards. The other one holds its ground. It's gonna end his turn. Mildred's going to throw another firebolt at the one on Adam. Misses, because Mildred is damn one near useless at this point. She burned everything she had just about last round. Literally, like, her bread's butter's lightning, so this is going to be oh. Artemis, you're up. Uh, 
Where's the closest stoner to me? Closest to <laughs> Are you talking Which about one? the actual stoner? Stone stone no, stone 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 uh, to the right of you, right there. Okay, is he within 30 feet? Yeah, easily. See if he makes a strength thing to throw his head, try and knock him on his butt. What are you Shoving him? Shoving him? him, yeah. All right. Or knock him back at least. Oh, you're just trying to knock him back? Yeah, I can't knock him on his butt. All I can do is shove him backwards. Uh, yeah, you shove him backwards. Okay. Shift him back a little bit. All right. That was bonus action. We'll see. All right, so. We'll <laughs> be. So you shift, you, you extend your mage hand and it knocks him back. He kind of stumbles a little bit and then turns towards you. The, uh. Oh. Who's, okay, so the, who's the. Who's, who's down on our side? Uh, Grish is on the ground. Castor is on the ground. Everybody's unconscious now, though. Everybody's conscious. Mm-hmm. Everybody's conscious. And who's got who's up with somebody on them? I have heels. Like, That's Castor. That's Castor. That's Okay. All right. Oh, on the ground. So then mm-hmm. the stoner next to him. All I've really got left is magic missile at second level. All right, go for it. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Hold up. Wait a minute. It's a fire. Question. Answer. It is. Should be 44. Yeah. 44 plus 4. Not for everyone. 45. No. Okay. It's just for that. 8 and 6 is 14 yeah. plus 4 is 20 points. Oh, 20 points. Yeah. Uh, okay. As you extend the the darts forward, they both they all impale, just slamming into the creature, exploding, knocking bits of stone off of him as he turns to dust. Yeah. <laughs> all right, then I'll back up to the end of the circle or something like right, that. Get away this way. Yeah, drag the whoever to come towards me and right. whatever. So. Right. End of my turn. Castro, oh, you're up. Um. Hmm. This changes things. Um, What's your passive perception first? Passive perception Mm -hmm. is a 16. Okay, good enough. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna cast Dissonant Whispers on that one that's close to me. At first level, because I'm weak. All right, wisdom save? Yeah. Um, I think so. Ready? Is 14, that a bad guy in front of you? 14? Good. Is that a bad guy in front of you? Let me see. I think it's a 14. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's first. Okay. Fist. Yeah, fist. Full damage. Full damage. He has to run all of his movement away from me. Oh, I actually wrote good. <laughs> How much? Um, 14 psychic damage. As it begins to run, it begins to fall apart. Woo. Until there's nothing left okay. but the little, like, there's a, it's a waist and it's upper torso. It's just kind of like, doosh, 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 just hopping along. And then it crumbles into pieces. I will get up, compose myself. <laughs> and then get in the middle of those three wizards. <laughs> Please, I'm still hurt. Wait, on the other side of the baddie. Can I, can I move? No, I can the oh, so Yeah, I want to be protected. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be protected. Yeah. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> I can't Try for <laughs> Try I don't like what he's doing over there. I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> what's, ca- or no, Castros, what's your passive perception? Oh, gosh. So how do I calculate that? It's thing? plus 10 on your perception. Yeah. Oh, gosh. If you're mm-hmm. Perception. It's a 10. <laughs> Is it freaking Elysian chillin' trying to mm-hmm. stab me or something? <laughs> Alright. Like Salazar's it. turn. He's going to shift right here. I'm kind of scared. Yeah. I don't, I don't like that question. I don't, mm-hmm. I don't like it. Yeah. I don't Positive like it. Perception. What are we not seeing? Mm-hmm. Mm. Too bad it wasn't passive investigation. What are we not seeing? Mm. True. Okay. The two with the high perceptions are not mm-hmm. seeing right yeah. now. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. kind of scary. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized something. What did you just realize? Good to know. 
I will tell you in just two seconds, Cecilia, because oh, no. you would be able to notice. However, uh, he's going to just cast Magic Missile at the third Dang level of this dude, right in front of him. I rolled four fours and a two. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. So as he takes a step forward, and he puts his hand at the stone the guardian's face. He's like, man, you made some really great tea. And then he just blows his head off <laughs> with a point blank <laughs> magic. Kill him with kindness. Let's go. It goes Sally. Yeah. <laughs> Silly. Oh my gosh. Suddenly, in all your stars that you see around you with all this going on in your, your god side, you see this figure approach Eddard. No one seems to be doing anything about it. You watch as this humanoid form walks forward, sits around for a brief moment, kind of pivots as Eddard swings, and takes his hand and slides it into Eddard's bag and pulls something out, tucks it away, and then begins to make its way towards Richard. <gasps> Breaking Frank! You can see him. It's your turn. It's, uh, when it walked in about 30 feet from you, suddenly you were able to see the Nyx stars beginning to form. Um, Actually, I take it back, you see it walking towards Elijah at this point. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, uh, where in the direction, like, can I see it? Because I want to line up and get a shot with it. Right here, mm-hmm. you would get a clear mm-hmm. shot. Okay. And uh, remind me, since with Slayer's Prey, that with the gifts that I got, would that be a concentration as well? Or no? With Slayer, or is it Slayer's Prey? Yeah. Slayer's Prey is not concentration. It's just a it's feature. Not? Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put Slayer's Prey on it. Okay. So you're gonna place Slayer's Prey on the individual. Uh, <laughs> Standing about here. Sheesh. Okay. I'm gonna speak out to them. Well, I might. I'm gonna take a. First of all, I'm gonna take a shot on it. Okay. And then first shot. No shoot. You, you've already used your I've already used one. Yeah. Okay. It's just a straight roll. That sucks. Well, that was just an 11. It does not hit. Okay. You take the shot. The rest of you standing there, like Elijah all of a sudden sees an arrow just fly maybe two feet from his face. He goes, <laughs> looks around. Um, there's nobody there standing here. Um, no, there actually is. Now, whatever you are, give that freaking thing that you took it out of Edder's pocket back. No response. Shoot again. Make it a tackle. <laughs> Let's go. Please. Stick him. Come on. Please. No. Oh, 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 Let's go. Yes. Nothing's invisible this season. Okay. That's a. CC the blind. Does that have a deed added to that as well? Not set for strike. Remember? I don't have it with that. The Slayer's Prey. Slayer's Prey. Yes. Yeah, Slayer's Prey. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Slayer's Prey yes. has a D6. Sorry. And you double the D6 yes. as well. So. So 2d8 and 2d6. 2d8 and 2d6. 2d8 and 2d6. <laughs> you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. There's so much going on! Okay. Do you need extra dice? No. Okay. It's just 2d8. And then once uh, a card tank. If this is a triple card, that'd be amazing. Um, Piercing, I guess. Normal damage until heal the target is enfeebled? Enfeebled? Enfeebled. enfeebled. So, yeah. One, so clumsy one. one, and can't use one of its hands. Alright. Wait, what? Yes. Wow! It is one of its hands. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. With the draw a card. Roll damage. Sheesh. Nice. Okay, so four. 10, 12. 19. 19 points. I need you. To roll a D one hundred for me. Oh. Uh, 
38. 38? Okay. Left hand. You take the shot. You see its arm as it kind of shifts around as you call out to it. As it sinks into, like just kind of carves through the elbow joint, you see as something all of a sudden appears, apparates in thin air. The arrow floats there. And this kind of, it looks like stars dripping out as this thing bleeds stars. And you watch, because a very familiar little box hits the ground that belongs to Artemis. <gasps> the boy got away. He tried to and the creature kind of stump, <laughs> pivots back for a second, and then its face looks over towards you, and you see gold shimmers. Oh my gosh. Oh. You're not getting away, little shit. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> um, how much movement was it to get that way? Uh, 20 feet. 20 feet? I wanted to see if there was any way to get on the other side and have it surrounded. Um, if you cannot quite get that far. You can kind of push to this point and okay. start moving that way. Even when I, even though I have sixty feet. You have sixty feet of movement. Oh, oh, that's right. Oh wow. You can get all the way here. Yay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I knew I had something. Actually, else. I have 60 feet. Mm -hmm. Actually. So very good point it out. Give it to me. Good shot. Anything else? Yeah, that's all. All right, Grisha at this point is going to stand up. Sorry, Grisha. <laughs> she's going to. Uh, she, no, no, she's not going to try that. She's going to disengage. And immediately, seeing what's going on here, she's going to shift backwards, kind of behind Mildred, and get some cover. Let's go. Sure. And. You watch as the creature now, a little flustered, whatever it is, shifts over towards Elijah quickly. You see as it sinks its hand, all of a sudden Elijah's coat just kind of flourishes upwards. And Elijah's, oh no you don't, and kind of swipes it away. It pivots forward as you see as his gate stone falls out of his pocket and hits the ground. And he immediately kind of puts his foot on top of it. This entity is going to begin to take a legendary action and shift. Was there any um, chance of hopper attack? Hopper With disadvantage, because you can see it. But with disadvantage? With disadvantage. You can't all see because it has a bow in it? There is a floating arrow. That's all we can see. <laughs> There's a floating arrow. So we can't take it? We don't know? Well, it's not next to you. It was next to Elijah and to her. Mm. And it would be, it would still be disadvantage? Even though I have Slayer's Prey on it? Still disadvantage for you, okay. yeah. Because... Okay. okay. Game mechanics. <laughs> That's fine. Game mecha also, you have a bow. Drawn. So... I will find a way to give you disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> My lowest roll was a 10, so 19. I hit some noise. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, do we know what it has right now? Does it have any... Anyone's gate stones? Just Eddard's? It just should be 1d8, not 2d8. Just 1d8. Yeah. It's on the ground. Yeah. Oh my god. Um, uh, that is 7 points. Alright. As it's running, you take another shot. This time you sink it kind of on its in the calf, and it kind of stumbles a bit. And it takes another few steps forward. Sheesh. So that's going to end its legendary movements. Grisha's turns over. Stone Guardian. Is going to rush you. Stop it! <laughs> Stop it right now! Stop it. Uh, that's gonna be uh, 15 on the first strike. Uh, meets. Meets. Mm. You go. Oh. No. You're gonna take 10 I'm points bludgeoning. Doing, doing a lot of big things. I don't want him. Uh, 16 oh. on the second strike. Mm -hmm. Nine points bludgeoning damage. Do I have to roll for concentration? You no, not for slow spray. It just keeps you. You do oh, have to roll for separate strike though. Uh, fifth. Wait. Concentration is under what? It's a Constitution saving throw. Constitution. Okay, that's fifteen. Success. Yay. Good. It stays up. That's gonna end the last Tom Guardian's turn. Adam, you're up. Okay. 
Quick question. So we technically can't see this creature. You see two arrows floating in the air. Okay. That should help, right? If if I use the rope of entanglement, would it just be at disadvantage or it's a deck save. So do you have to be able to see the target? Yes. It says a creature you can see within 20 feet. You could definitely be going for the arrows. You know, <laughs> it's 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 a tough like. I'm, it's fine. If you, you know say what, no, Sarah? I'm gonna give. So. I will say that it has advantage on the saving throw if you try to use it, because you don't exactly know right where it's at. You know its general location. Yeah. All right. I won't do that. Not just yet. But I will hold yet. that hold that in my okay. pocket until I can see that creature. Right. Instead, what I'm going to do is send a guiding bolt at that last stone guardian. Make an attack roll. Thanks. Try and get it off of CC. That's a 19 to hit. 19? That yeah. hits. Roll damage. All right. We've got 9, 10, 11, 12, plus 4, 16. How do you want to do this? Yay! Whoa! Woo! I want to muster up all the radiant energy that I can and send the guiding bolt straight through the shield. Okay. And through the guardian and out the other side. So Cecilia, oh, as you're so on the ground, the creature raises that heavy mallet up again. It's getting ready to slam it back down on top of you. You see this bright light that just appears in your starry peripheral as it impacts the guardian. The shield shatters into pieces. It blows through its chest, sending its head flying, and its legs just crumble to the ground. Cool. All right, I will move 30 feet towards the floating arrows, <laughs> and then okay. I will use my archer form Woo! to try and make an attack. Attack with disadvantage, it's considered an invisible creature. Got this. The asteroid kind of shifts forward and disappears. It's all right. I didn't have anything else to do with my bonus action, um, so that will be my turn. Elijah is going to shift around. And um, are any of those stones laying within arm's reach or line of sight? Stones? Mm. Uh, like the gate stones? Yes, his. Actually, that's a good point. He would have picked his back up. Just his and the box is within line of sight. So Artemis's box? Artemis's box. So okay. Elijah's going to pick his stone up. He's going to shift here. He's going to cast slow. Okay. As he extends his hand forward, Cecilia, you watch as this entity is rushing, running away. Suddenly, it just goes, it slows down all of a sudden as it's trying to run. Sheesh. Eddard. <laughs> Eddard's gonna turn around and be like, what's going on? Someone or something is trying to steal the gate stones that got it yours, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know that. That's metagaming. Uh, the floating uh, arrow! Yeah, we can, here. we can assume. <laughs> we can assume. He's going to rush right in front of Elijah. Okay. He is going to cast a Thunder Wave at oh. first level. Uh oh. <laughs> he's, he's all out. He's tapped out of high level spells, guys. He's been fighting for like Better. way too long. And unfortunately, the it makes the save. Dang it. All right. It's going to end his turn. Mildred is going to begin to shift, and she's going to dash around this way to try and head it off. Armus. Okay, I can see two arrows in yep. something. How far am I from it? 40-ish feet. And I saw my box on the ground. Yep. Still on the ground? Yep. And all the baddies so far that I know of are gone? Yep. So 30 feet would get me how close? I would be within 
10 feet? 10 feet of it? Yeah, it's 40. 30 feet? Yeah. I'm saying if, if I did, you went to move me, but that would basically you'd be there. Yep. Okay, well, I guess it wouldn't really, I couldn't have enough time to do, and I don't even know if it ranged that far, but basically, you know, my bag of flour, so mm -hmm. I could see this thing if it pulls its arrows out or does something. Yeah. What type of, you know, of tossing it out or what type Dexter of host attack? <laughs> or I try and attack it. <laughs> and for invisible. Care. My other question would be if I attack it straight out and I use a uh, firebolt, yeah. and it could be just the way I'm reading the word, and you hurl a mode of fire at a creature mm -hmm. or an object. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't have disadvantage necessarily if I'm objecting the arrows, correct? Or is that? <laughs> you guys, it's it's going to be with disadvantage. Oh, okay. It's considered okay. an invisible oh, creature. Floating arrows. Okay. Technically oh, speaking, oh, the arrows would have had the power to go through it. I use the arrows okay. for flavor. Okay. Uh, it is an so invisible too much creature. Flavor. Well, then that too All right. Toss my flower in it, hoping to douse it so we can maybe see what it is. Make an attack using your dexterity. We can assume <laughs> the creature is not there. Oh, uh, hey, Salamander, don't snip this stuff. Oh, Salazar. Salazar. Sal I love uh, it. It's 16 different. plus yeah. 1 is 17. 17? You. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> what? Yeah, that yell? <laughs> what? Is that a form? As the, you take the whole bag it. of flour and just. Hurl it forward, it explodes, and as the flower begins to settle on the ground, you see this white, covered, powdery humanoid form as it just stands there. And it, <laughs> at this point, it just kind of stands up straight and it just puts its hand to its head, just <laughs> starts laughing. Anything else? Now I do my actions, so uh, Does he there's nothing stuff? I can't. At least he has his own gets so bonus so action is to shove. Uh, I'm having other bonus actions. Yeah. That, uh, well, I do have another bonus action, I think. It's not any good, but it's just beneficial in the long run, I think. That's my bonus action of a... Uh, do you have bonus action unit? Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a bonus action. What is it? No, nope, it's an action. I'm sorry. Okay, I this mirror image, I was going to help myself out. Oh. I got you. So. Castro, you're up. So we can see him now. Oh, yeah, you can see him now. That's good to know. <laughs> I will cast Suggestion on this hoe. Um, should I say it now, or should I wait for you to roll? <laughs> I should definitely say it now. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'm going to say... Um, I suggest you give all of the gate stones you have right now on your possession to Elijah. It turns for a moment, you hear a voice I'm call surprised. back. I don't think I will. Hate you. <laughs> um, no. Okay, well, I try. Anything else? Mm, I don't think so. Because that's a spell. Yeah, I think I'm done. Wait, actually, I'm going to move towards the teleportation circle. Okay. <laughs> As you shift forward. Yeah, okay. That's, that's fine. The entity at out. this point <laughs> is it shakes all the flower off of it. As it shakes, it drops some visibility as you see Elysian standing there. Holding Eddard's gate stone. Well, it was a gambit. He's going to take a sh step back what? and bash. What? What? Why do you take that away? As he disappears, as your Slayer's Prey is fixated on him, how, what's the range on Slayer's Prey? 60 feet is my. First yeah, but like, how, how, how far can you pick up yeah. on him? Ooh. Uh, okay, let's see. 
Come here, son. Thank you. Or is it the alt? No. That's hex. It's hex. Or. Um. I really don't see. All I see is just 60 feet. Is it Slayer Spray? I think it's Slayer Spray, yeah. basically. Hmm. I think with Slayer's Blood Prey, you can still, either, either way, yeah. as he vanishes, uh, and you would note too, I will make a point that when this guy teleports, he does not cast a spell. He just disappears. Wow. You pick up, pick him up 60 feet above you. You sense him as he begins to walk away. And with that, combat comes to a close. But I will note uh, sixty feet. I see that you just kept him from getting a lot more. Good job. <laughs> so he's in sixty feet. No, he's gone at this point. You cannot see him. Mm. She knows she where he is. Where he is. Yeah. 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 Which I will relate. Can we leave? <laughs> <laughs> that gets so bad, please. So you like got one stone. He got one stone. That we're that you're aware. Okay. As, as combat kind of comes okay. to a close, you watch as Grisha immediately kind of leaves. When Maytan reaches out. Shifts into her pocket and she pulls her gate stone out. Bless it. Nice. Elijah picks his off the ground and Edder just kind of. Oh, Damn it all. <laughs> and that's where we're going to take a quick break. Ah. And we'll be back oh, in about gosh. 10 minutes, guys. Thank you guys for watching. That was, thanks for bearing with us. That yes, was a long, yeah, long combat. combat. Yeah. This is like three sessions of stupid long combat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Okay. But we'll be back in 10 minutes. But nobody dies. Nobody, nobody dies. Nobody nobody dies. Nobody you dies. get a dagger, don't you? the baddies. Yeah. I
and we're back. Let me change this music to something less ominous real quick, because I totally forgot to turn that battle music off. Do appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Let's go with it. Uh, <laughs> need some, some tunes. <laughs> All right. That's, That's not ominous. much better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is our scary as you technology. all mm -hmm. kind of rise to your feet and uh, rejoin one another, you um, hear as Elijah Eddard's kind of cussing and just raving, just, oh, you stupid motherfucker, I'm going his neck. <laughs> you do that. Is everyone all right? It's more important question. Grisha kind of takes a step forward. And you see as there's like some bruising on her face a little bit, and on her, on her uh, arm, and she's got a... Miss ma'am. I'll be all right. Thanks to you all. Can I recast my bow and give it to her as a staff so she can use it for stability? She takes it. Just kind of <laughs> leans against it. And, I'm sorry. I don't know about the rest of you, but I can really use a nap right about now. A mm. nap, a stiff drink, you know. Rest in stone she, kind of, uh -huh. she kind of pulls at your sleeve. Cecilia, you might want to pick up your other bow. I did write that down. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, okay. Oh, yes. Thank you, Grisha. <laughs> Gracious it's Grisha. It's my father's bow. I need to get that. You're yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> my dad gave me this one, so it's kind of much better. But <laughs> the mage hand retrieves the, the box, kind of float it back over to your pocket. And at this point, he watches it or just kind of takes a step forward. All right then, well who's going first? We need to go quickly. There's still a whole horde of those Golden Master freaks upstairs. Really quick. Can, can I examine Yakovi's body? Was there anything dropped? Yeah, he did have a couple things. Okay, you, as you I'd look like over to him, do that. As you quickly rush over and just kind of like take a look at him. Um, <laughs> he still, like the, and the ice knives are just now beginning to melt. It's kind of this mix of arcane water and blood that just kind of pours down him. He does have that circlet on his head, and he has a mm -hmm. ring, like this beautiful looking red, like ruby ring. Close his eyes, take it all. <laughs> Don't look. We'll <laughs> <laughs> examine this later. <laughs> so, you kind of uh, take the circlet, you take the ruby. The circlet, ruby ring. Ruby, ruby ring. ring. Mm -hmm. I didn't mind Is there anything else? Sorry. Sorry. Uh, kind of shifting through his pockets and everything, you do find some artificer's tools, about a tinkerer's kit. Um, you find three vials with two of them with a strange uh, kind of swirling orange and red liquid, and the other one with a very strange looking black tincture. Okay, cool. Sorry. Edward, might I ask where you're going? Go. Your homeland. Canada! Mountains to the north. I'll enter Coffin's Crag. I have some allies there. Caradon is not exactly on the greatest terms with Theoden, but I think that in this particular circumstance, perhaps we could sway them to join the fight. You mentioned something about there are many of these, an army. Many. Thousands. Yes. That we will need more reinforcements than Fielden has to offer. We're heading to Stonebrook to give them a warning. The trouble is coming, so... It's coming to them specifically, right? First or something? Yes, one of the spots on the map. As far yeah. as we know. So. Um, we'll let you know. Try and send you a message of some sort. Sounds good. Pleasure to meet you all. Best of luck. And when this is all sorted, bring her. You'll have a seat next to mine. Kind of steps up. Shake his hand, Artemis. The man in your yeah, he walks over to you. <laughs> <laughs> he walks over to you, looks up at you, kind of looks you up and down, and then just. Did you doubt me from the beginning? Grips your hand tight, kind of shakes it. I'll be honest. Yeah, I did. Fair enough. <laughs> Glad we're on the same side, though. 
I mean, look at you, Artemis, no, no offense. Kind of looks at you and like, looks over <laughs> down. Just see things. Us in the background. <laughs> <laughs> he never looks away from you uh, during their comments. <laughs> he looks you dead in the eyes and says, No doubt in my mind anymore. Welcome to the order, friend. Oh. And he takes a step up onto the teleportation circle. So you watch as he walks over and he engages one of the runes on the stonework. And he and Mildred kind of stand there for a moment and they close their eyes and they think. There's this arcane glow that just kind of begins to emanate, and then they vanish. And Elijah kind of, well, I guess the rest of us are headed Stonebrook, right? Yes. Yes. Let's go. I think so. Okay. He kind of steps onto, and Salazar just stands behind, <laughs> kind of watches you. Oh, don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I'll just go after you guys. You got more important places to go, I'm sure. You should go first. All right then. I mean, don't let him go to die. I know. Don't let him die. Yes. I mean, if you're sure, but like, you guys seem like you're in kind of a hurry. Like, I know where I'm going, and it's not like that far. Just go now. Just go now. It's okay. just you. All right. Yes. Sure. Sure. I'm going where, are you, where, are you, where are you going? Well, I'm going to meet with Lilith, obviously. And you wouldn't tell us where. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah. no. Yeah. Well, that would defeat yeah. the whole yeah. purpose. Yeah. I've gotten a report yeah. back first. Yeah. It's very yeah. clear, I know you man. Tell us. <laughs> it's, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Best be on your way. Safe journeys. Safe teleporting. He just kind of does this kind of like, this gentle, like, little way of fun. As he steps on, or he does a step, he floats up onto the pedestal. Even better. And uh, you see as he like pulls out a pipe, high tune he, pull, he, liked, as he, he started playing, playing and he's like, ah, yeah. oh, that's rad. And he takes out this pipe and he sees so he, he goes, oh, oh my god. god. And as he exhales, he vanishes. Makes total sense. Oh, I actually kind of like him. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, <So, right. laughs> the rest of you step on, Elijah kind of looks to you all in. So here's how these things work. As he walks over and he watches, he engages one of the rune stones. Uh, luckily, I hope this thing has a little more juice in it, and luckily if it does, it won't have very much left for them to follow us. I need you, one of you, only one, to picture where you want to go in Stonebrook. Envision it perfectly in your mind. Who's going to do it? I don't want to mess up. <laughs> <laughs> just, just imagining Stonebrook. <laughs> Maybe the bringer should do it. Yeah. <laughs> what was it, Stonebrook? That's not where. Okay, I'm, that's not Adam, where I never mind. Never mind. <laughs> no, nope, it was a good sentiment. <laughs> Adam is doing it. Right, Cece so didn't see anything, so she can't do it. Okay. When we were there, you were. Do you have any inspiration <laughs> left in you? No, I oh, truly no, don't. No, 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 that's all right. Um, I can go at my I'm tapped out, as they task. say. Yes. All right. Okay. Uh, what point do you picture in your mind? Where in Stonebrook are you envisioning? I would like to picture in front of the Stone Garden Inn and the courtyard. Stone Drag. Stone okay. Dragon Inn. No. Yeah. Stone Dragon Inn. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Stone he's Dragon Inn. Stop it. Sorry. Stone that's that's me. dirty to me. That is me. Yeah, I'm like, three it. campaigns are. Yeah. But yeah, Stone Just Dragon Inn. Stone, Dragon Dragon. Oh. Stone Garden. Don't right. kind of so it's you. because we wavered on the name of that uh, candle of Stone Garden and Stone rude. Dragon. That's rude. That is actually. If you were about to make it that's a That's absurd. Absolutely. I was absolutely about to do that. Rude. So. As you vividly okay. imagine, the, you think about the stone dragon and you think about the stairway that leads down into the plaza, the great stone statue of the dragon in the middle of it, the, the plaza with all dragon. the carts and the markets, like the bizarre style market around it, all the people, the bustling of the town, the crossroads that meet here, the point where all of you met all those months ago, the very spot. As... Elijah looks to you and he says, are you ready? I think so, yes. Cast guidance on myself. You watch as he engages the rune on the stone. <laughs> there is no guidance needed. As long as you can vividly describe where you want to go. Okay. Since you've been there before, there is no check. 
you all teleport. You find your feet fall out from underneath you. <laughs> Actually, let me check that real quick. Let me just double check. Let me double, double check. check. Now I can double check. Wait, double check the spell. Yeah, yeah, it's double check the spell. <laughs> it well, sounds great check. the way you described it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was perfect. <laughs> let me just check. <laughs> I, I seem to recall that that's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Back, yes, you're good. <laughs> As you vividly imagine it in your mind, the floor falls out from beneath you. You all find yourselves falling. Oh, frick. Very quickly yeah. through space. You just you feel yeah. the sky, like the cold air kind of washing against you. I'm going to reach out for everybody's hands. One of the hands I can grab. <laughs> and then, Where did the ground go? Magic. <laughs> You find yourselves. This is really scary. Yeah. It's like, please, no, no, yeah, no, 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 as you, I did remember that was a big hug. <laughs> as you open your eyes and you look forward, you see there's this drunkard stumbling out of the tavern. Good to see you. And he's like, is he kind of shakes him? It's like, it was good to see you too. Yeah, get off me. I'm sorry. I'm he looks around. Did everybody make it out? Sweet ground. Did everybody yeah. make it? Look around. As you take a look around, you find everyone with you. Elijah's with you. Grisha. Uh, your party, because you're all standing here on the stoop of the Stone Dragon Inn instead of the Grace. Drag is, at this point, it is dusk. The sun is beginning to set around you. Right, everyone come here, just real quick. Mm -hmm. Don't mind me. Cleansing stone, ah! cleansing stone, clean <laughs> everybody up. Oh my god. Oh. This is crazy. We're going to, you know, go inside. Need to look presentable. We can. Not like we just went through a bunch of no. crap. No. no, but it'd be best not to explain it to them. Yeah. Okay, true. What time of day is it? Currently, dusk. it is, it is dusk? it's dusk. It's like mm -hmm. right at 5, 30, 6 o'clock in the evening. Sun is setting on the horizon. Um, you notice know, it's a little warm out. As, mm -hmm. you, as you kind of hit it's a little warmer than it has been in recent days. As you all uh, find yourselves here. A lot of crowd, a couple of people seem to notice as you kind of just appeared out of nowhere, but most of the people were kind of down in the bizarre area and not paying attention. There were two individuals coming down the stairs, the one that was drunk, the other one kind of sees as you all appear and just takes a step back. She wanders over to the left. I, I didn't see anything. She just keeps walking. It's probably for the best. <laughs> I think I'll... Elijah kind of... Um... Drinks on me. As they should be, considering you stole money from me. Yeah. You still owe me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that just waves at you just as a whole uh -oh. Drinks on Elijah. <laughs> Thanks for the night. Or should we say yeah. they're on Adamant since he did Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. I see your point. We gesture. won't look at the technicalities. Forgiveness, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Elijah <laughs> begins to make his way up towards the tavern. Did you guys ever talk? No. Okay. Mm. Mm. It's going to be a long night. <laughs> <laughs> we did not, you know, fighting whatever Elysian was mm. and all that. Mm. Maybe we could, um... Being framed for murder. Give you guys a run for a change. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Grisha just kind of nudges you in the, in the, in the hip a little bit. And just, I think that that would be appropriate, probably. I think so. I know that he has quite a few things to say. And oh. she continues to walk, following behind him. How did I see you all right? Yeah. Can I follow? You could Grisha and be like, Grisha, what's the tea? <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Sorry. What's this? Are you all right, mate? Not really. What's wrong? The almost lost a stone. Uh, that's all right. He was walking no, around. And, yes, it is invisible. No one blames you. I don't care whether anybody blames you. I should have held on to it. 
have known so to protect it at all costs. It, it does matter. It's not like you were waving it around. Come get it. <laughs> Is there anywhere we could put it to like keep it safer? Or like spells you guys could learn, maybe? Well, I think that bag of yours, if it's not on him anymore, you have to well know. If you know what you're looking for, you can get it out, right? Really? Is that how it works? If you know what you're looking for, anyone can get stuff out of it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you know what you're looking for, anyone can get stuff out of it. Mm-hmm. We could always... Um, I don't know. Does the bag, like, stop people from, like, being able to locate it, though? It does. Yeah. Yes. Well, that's so that's cool. something. Yes. If you want it, but I don't know if you want... Feel comfortable not having it on your person, Artemis. That's up to you. Don't know, but they already got one. It's just one, and hopefully we can get it back. I mean, the whole point of coming here was to regroup and have conversation and try and figure things out, not under pressure. <laughs> so. Could have been a lot worse, yes. Artemis. Could have gotten all of them. <laughs> we all made it out alive. Yeah, we could have died. We all could have died <laughs> easily. Deadly. Truly. <laughs> Gatestone is on last of our worries now. And we stopped him from doing whatever it was that he wanted to do. He's got an army. He does, yes. But don't forget, you're not alone. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of them there. He's a mighty tricky fellow. Could it be all those places or I don't know. Maybe that's something we can research. It's possible in the 40 books that I purchased, we might be able to find something. Could be normal. <laughs> Could be it. You know, if you want to help me read and all. Last time you were a bit um, put out about <laughs> helping me. <laughs> you were reading that novel. It's multiple novels, yes. <laughs> no, it's that novel. Which novel? The good one. Well, the one you got for pleasure? Yes. <laughs> I didn't really want to read it with you. Well, I mean, not just that one. I got plenty of other books. Oh, right. I was just afraid you want me to read that with you. It's going to be a little uncomfortable, you know? Listen, Artemis. <laughs> this is I, I know. I don't know where it's coming from. <laughs> Never mind. All of that to say, it's all right. How can you be the best wizard if you lose one of the most important things you're left with? You didn't lose it. You didn't lose it. You have it. You still have it. I don't even know if it's in there. Maybe you took it out. I can't open it. Shake it around. (laughs) Well, I can see if the magic's still on it. So if you give me ten minutes, I can take a look at it and make sure it's all right. (laughs) Thank you. You're welcome. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> right While you're doing that, of, yeah, I guess. I guess we'll have to go. If inside, we can talk yeah. about, yeah, we can go inside. I was also gonna say, um, yeah, what's our plans after this? Like, where are we going after we alert people? Well, we were supposed to go up to Crescent Cliffs and then find our way through the mountains. Mm-hmm. So okay. that was the plan before. Sounds Don't like we're, we're on schedule. So what? <laughs> How it's many just, days? <laughs> 36, 36 until impending I'm sure it's 36. doom. It's 30, 30, <laughs> I think. Let's see. I don't That's what you said earlier. You said 36. I was not keeping track. <laughs> I wasn't keeping track. I don't know. No, okay, hey. 32 days. 32? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Uh, okay, I'm well, gonna, I'm going to go back to my notes later and find that. So I don't know now. Make an intelligence check. You're quite anybody, smart. Anybody who wants to take a crack at it. Why not? Can I go I in our I'm pretty sure <laughs> no when it was. Yeah. I shouldn't have taken a crack. <laughs> intelligence. Uh oh. Ten. <laughs> Ten? <laughs> 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 so good. Half that time, you don't even know when it was day and time. Ah, uh, true. <laughs> <laughs> Doozy. Yeah. Ten. Yeah. Cassius, you weren't really paying attention. You were, you were expecting Artemis to keep track. Mm-hmm. I guided him. Okay. That was 18. And... It's... Here, 32 days. Can 
Can I do something real quick too? You have 30 days left now. Okay. That was at the hunt. Finished. We keep subtracting. The ends of the earth. Just keeps going. That's not how it works. <laughs> what our days were. <laughs> I'm gonna go and look very carefully. We're sitting with the table at the. So. At yeah, I was the gonna say. Bar uh, or one thing I would like to do is look around when we landed to make sure no one else landed with us that's not supposed to be with us. Make a perception check. Ooh. As you, you three are doing this, is your, what were you doing? Sorry. I want to look see if I see any traces of freaking flower floating oh. around anywhere on the floor. Let's oh. go Smart. Cecilia, so, so you sneak away from the group briefly to head to the table to get the tea. As you wander over and you, 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 find, you step inside, and as you enter in, it's pretty busy at this point. You see all the, the kind of a lot of the tables off to the right hand side are full. You see um, as a uh, couple of guards kind of standing like off their post, well, yeah, at the end of their shift, taking their helmets off as they, they're having a few drinks. You notice at this point, Elijah and, um, Desmond. and you see Elijah and he's, <laughs> yeah, you just see Marisha <laughs> sitting off to the side. You see Elijah sitting there with a drink in his hand um, he has actually, there are several mugs. There's enough for each of you around the table of mugs. And you see Grisha with a glass of wine. wine. She takes a sip. She just smiles at him. He looks up and says, Please not now. As you kind of enter in and you hear a voice shout out from behind the bar, I'll be with you in just. A oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> hey! Uh, hey! Uh, hey! <laughs> You're not hanging around with that horn bastard anymore, are you? Which, which bastard? <laughs> what bastard? We got a lot of those around here. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, it's just me and my two pals here. So you kind of wander over and Grisha kind of, I assume that you've been here before. Uh -huh. <laughs> she kind of just, she's with me. And he kind of, he looks down and he says, you sure you want to vouch for this one, Risha? Oh, you know it's good. And she kind of, don't worry. I'll keep them out of trouble. <laughs> oh. <my God. laughs> All right, it's on your tab, though, and they fuck shit up. Thanks, Grisha. So you kind of sit down, and Elijah looks up, and Grisha smiles even bigger, and she turns towards you. He was quite the mess the first few days after we found him. Oh, I bet. He, was, he spent three days in his room, never even came out. And he was just squalling most of the time, to be honest. And Elijah kind of, I was not squalling. It was gentle sobbing. Well, I would expect you to be squalling if you're running away from the love of your life. He kind of looks up, he takes another sip, and Grisha just kind of, it was quite the sight, really. Mm -hmm. uh, he just, he wouldn't stop talking about her. So all he would talk about was how he now, thanks to all of this end of the world nonsense, he is mm. going to have to miss his very own wedding. So worried that she wouldn't come back to him. Mm. It's quite the mess. Quite the mess. Quite the mess indeed. Mm -hmm. it took me some time to put him back together again. Oh, man. And Elijah at this point kind of, you didn't do shit, old lady. You didn't do shit at all. You laughed at me the entire time! What would we do without you, Grisha? By this point, the rest of you kind of enter in and Elijah just kind of... <clears throat> have a seat. Now, it takes a big swig. I forgot about that perception check. 16. 16? What was your investigation? 16. Looking around, you don't notice anyone that's out of the ordinary okay. at all. Nothing, nothing stands out to you. 26. 26? No flower on the ground. Anywhere. Let's get a drink, yes? Come on. <laughs> Loosen up a little bit. We're alive, Jesus. <laughs> hey, Lord. <laughs> so, as you all take a seat and kind of sit around, Elijah just, well, I guess we need to just, uh, discuss next steps. When you found the Watcher, did he give you any insight? What to do next? Where to go? Certainly Yarendi must have given you something. All he told us was that the gate lies beneath the dragon's gaze. And a storm would ruin us all. 
turn ally to foe and foe to ally. She told us to find more and also. Find more. Kind of, Grisha kind of, well, there aren't many dragons known to exist in this day and age. Most of the ones that are known of, people keep tabs on them. Perhaps I can investigate this a bit once I find out what happened to Signa. I need to go to Theseus before I do anything else, though, and warn the government, warn the king. Do we think it's a real dragon? Kind of, excuse. I don't know. Your Andy always spoke in riddles. If it's not a real dragon, there's far too many stone dragon statues, bronze dragon statues, and other things to count in this nation. Stone dragon. Like the, like the my point. There's five of them in the city alone. We can start here, I guess. We might as well. <laughs> yes, We're I here. mean, a rift was opened here. Right, it was a storm. <laughs> well, that's how we first met, actually. Yes. Perhaps it's something worth looking into. Then. Is that the key station? Beneath the dragon's gaze? Mm-hmm. The gate lies beneath the You said the something gaze. about lore, too, right? I don't know. Must have been We have to find her. Do you know about lore? Only in fairy tales, stories, they say that she was the first historian, one assigned by the gods. A god in, in and of herself, in, in some rights. She was the ledger keeper, the novelist, the writer, who wrote the history of the gods, and how they came to be, the things they accomplished, and the things they did not. However, oh. she went missing millennia ago, and most likely died out, or moved on to another, uh, some other plane of existence. There are the tablets, that would be the only ties that I know to lore, but they're scattered. We have two of them, already. Do you know where others are? Sort of. Sort of, yeah. (laughs) Vaguely. Yeah. (laughs) We know areas, kind of. um... General direction. Yeah. Grisha kind of, well, perhaps that's the best way to look for her then, is to find the rest of the tablets. Can I see if there's anyone that is taking particular interest in our conversation? Make a perception check. Mm-hmm. In case I get it on myself, you may. while I look around. <laughs> What's the guy's name who owns this place? Dargan Leskin. Dargan Leskin. Dargan Leskin. I just realized that I got his uh, accent wrong too. I'm gonna change his accent to the correct one. That's okay. It's been what 16. two years yeah. since I played it. Yeah. No yeah, way. It's been two. Year? It's been almost two years no, since I played Dargan no, Leskin. It's been a year. No, it's been almost two years, guys. Yeah, it's been a year and a half. Stop. Still over. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Because you went to yeah. Bahamas at first, mm-hmm. and then we took a break, uh, yeah, and then right. you went to the Bahamas again. You're right. Yeah. It's been almost two years, guys, wow. since I did Dargan Leskin. Wow. Because if I remember correctly, oh, he wow. actually sounds a little more like. This. <laughs> There it is. Oh, All right, I got it back now. So, don't bring him over now that you have his eyes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. July twenty third, twenty twenty one. Yep. So almost wow. two years, guys. Wow. I'm About sure this point, mind. Dargan does come over. Uh, he comes. <clears throat> Dargan. Looks over to you. <laughs> well, you did right by her. She got into the academy. It's uh, wonderful news. How's she doing? Yes. Well, she just got settled in not too long ago. So I have my waiting letter any day now, though. However, if anything happens to her, I'm blaming you. What just for? say it. That's it. You're the one who coerced her into it. You talked her right into that trip. You seem to, like, really just, like, want to not like us. Oh, I don't have to want to not like you. I just don't like you. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> It's kind of rude. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Can Probably. I get you another drink? <laughs> yes, please. Yeah, on him. Elijah, Elijah. just got yeah, just. just <laughs> How's he looking? Elijah, <laughs> uh, existential crisis. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Can I make a little? Like shrug? now that everything is settled down, it's. You remember that point in Spike's family where he just exhausts himself? <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. This is months of tension that's now finally. Uh-huh. Just... All right. Can, can, I, I, can I make a little pirate check? 
Just to see if there's mm -hmm. any any, check. any dawn dreads or anything around here. You said what check? Perception. Oh, well, it's a that one. Oh. No well, pirates around here. Mm, no pirates <laughs> around here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, Elijah kind of. Look, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I think that my next steps need to be to go to Rothenheim. Speak with the Academy. There are some powerful spellcasters there. If this place is to become a war zone, as you say, then we'll need all the reinforcements we can get. And you're certain they're coming here. I promise. That's what I saw. That's what I heard. I believe you. I <laughs> did <laughs> 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 said so. What do we need didn't to speak to? You? Make some plans. Yeah, we have some plans to show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is so. what we found. So you showed them the map, the plans, yeah. everything that you had the found, the three and the tunnels. Yes. You spread them out, and while that's going on, well, it does on. seem that this is listen out <laughs> perception check. It does paranoid. seem that they are going to come here. This will be their strike. They will be striking here, and they'll be striking Thessius at the same time. In 30 days. Not much time. Mm -hmm. 23. 23. Let's see how. Um, there is some conversation, kind of... A uh, little bit of drunken conversation you hear is if you, one one guy is kind of like t uh, speaking to this other individual across the table and he's like, man, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I owe him so much money. I lost so much money on that fight. I just I just ran. What am I gonna do when they catch me? The other guy across the way just kind of. I don't know how many times I had to tell you. You can't you can't go gambling your money away with the damn iron fist. Sounds familiar. <laughs> How stupid are you? You know they've got men in all over the side. They could be right here watching you. They could walk in here to collect any moment now, and here you are drinking. And you just kind of, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what to do. And uh, further across the way, as you, you hear some conversation, as um, there's a guard kind of speaking, there's a couple of guards actually speaking with two young women. They're kind of talking to each other, and uh, one of the women just kind of says, So. So, um, where's that other guy? You know, the, the younger one that's the kind of hangs out with. Desmond, I think was his name, right? <laughs> oh. One of the guards kind of speaks up and says, Oh, honey, you don't want to worry about him. He's, uh, I don't know, he's a little uh, strung out when it comes to women. Like, he's, he's got a, I don't know, he's got a scene for some girl that lives abroad. I don't know. <gasps> Anyways, you want to come, come hang out with me? You know, I'll take you out. I'll take you out somewhere real nice. And she kind of... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, I, I've told you many a times. I'm just not interested. But, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'll give him a try again to see what happens. And he just kind of... What a loyal man. Kind of, like, <laughs> kind of just shakes it. I mean, sure, whatever. He's taking watch out by the main gate tonight. So, <laughs> give me your best. Mm -hmm. Fucking Desmond. <laughs> I know what I do. <laughs> <laughs> With that, um, Elijah just kind of. 30 days. That's how much time we have to prepare. Yes. So. Do you trust anyone at Rothenheim? There are a few. One individual in particular is uh, Dragonborn, a rather powerful magician named Malachaeus. There are a few others that I can trust, but he in particular, I will go to first. Do I need to send Wild for any reason home for you? I just got him. No, I don't think so, unless. I'm not. No. Kind of hangs his head for a moment. Do you need money? No, 
I do not need money. Inside. Speaking of which, <laughs> yeah, he's got he's a he kind of shifts around behind him, he pulls out a sack of gold and slams on the table. Oh, never mind. Your gold with interest, as he hands over 450 gold pieces. Keep it. I kept a stash in the temple with me. I have enough to get me back to Rome. <laughs> I just had to get to the temple in order to acquire the gold. Put it back in your parents' account. I owe it to them. Alright. <laughs> I will pay them a visit. I will give them my apologies as soon as this is all over. One way or another. Well, speaking of accounts and interest, don't we have an account here? Not here, near uh, Odessa. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, d I don't even know why we opened it. It's. We're about to step in it. No, no. Mm -hmm. Sure, if we ever go back to Odessa. You might. Maybe so someday we could figure out how to do that. Teleporty thing and travel True. fast. True. True. Yeah. Yes. Teleport to our bank. Just a thought. Mm-hmm. <laughs> kind of. If I procure the proper ingredients, I might be able to make a few teleportation scrolls. Rather expensive ingredients, quite costly. Speaking of, I need components as well. There's some spells that I would like to cast. Do you know somewhere I could purchase them? Indeed, there are some places here. If you know who to talk to. Here? In Stonebrook? Of course. The heck? Where there are magicians she? everywhere. Magicians! Oh, connections! Uh, <laughs> she's been around for We've been here for how long and we didn't ever find any. <laughs> Grisha, what kind of connections? Uh, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of connections? Connections. Yes, connections. Oh, yes, I have connections. Well, before we leave, <laughs> could we take a shopping trip? Indeed. To these connections. It's you been a while since I've been shopping. <laughs> oh, yeah. mm. I'm sure that would be easy to find. <laughs> didn't want to go and get my hopes up for something that wasn't going to happen, so I'm just going to get my flower. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Is this the same Artemis we left with? No. I didn't think so. We need to check. <laughs> Did uh? Make sure the power's not going to his head. Who, who was uh? Who was uh? Elijah who did the uh, teleportation? Right. He showed us about the rain and all that stuff on it. Did uh? Trisha came. She came with us. Is that right? Did, did she do anything? She, who looks more like Noah? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> who looks like they would know more Noah? Good God! Know more about uh, no more the whole teleportation. Thing. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh. Who would I mean, know more she, about teleportation? Grisha or Elijah? I mean, he know more about, about the circle. And she talked Grisha about the components. Oh. I, I would not trust this young pup with teleportation. He would send you right into the middle of a mountain. I just kind of... I... It was not the middle of a mountain. It was just the side of the cliff. It's fine. It was one time, Grisha. And she just kind of... Trust me. I can handle it. It just takes some time to make. We trust you. No insight, I need it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the really trust My girl. <laughs> True. Would it have been safe as we were exiting to try and dispel the magic on this? To dispel the magic on what? The teleportation circle. As we left, so they wouldn't be able to follow us. No, it would not have been safe if you had dispelled the magic on the teleportation circle in the middle of teleportation, well, you would have sent us into the uh, into the ether. We would have vanished, never to have been seen again. <laughs> Glad we didn't do that. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> 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 do you have a death wish or something? Did teach you anything Stop bringing us along with teleportation. <laughs> I'm a conjurer. You are the bringer. You know what they say about curiosity in the cat? I don't know, I don't have the cats. <laughs> It killed it, yes. Oh. Let's not be too curious. Well, here's the way this works. I, if I can grab the ingredients, I can perhaps stay up all night and procure you all a teleportation scroll. Do we not really? 
No. I okay, we have so. someone. You do have one. We do have one. Okay, yeah. 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 I remember. Yeah. Uh, like, I remember yeah, something. Like, okay. We do. Yeah. <laughs> like, wow. Like, oh. We couldn't have used that. Yeah, I was trying to save it till I could actually copy it when I was the right level. Yeah, we have to do it for certain. Level. Oh shoot. Yeah. We. Yeah. Well, at least you told me that probably not the best way to try and keep someone from following you. So I won't do that. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to do it. I would hope not. I didn't know, so I wouldn't want to do it anyway. No, I, I mean, didn't, I didn't want them to follow us. Yes, no, of course. Elijah kind of, well. Have I done something to you? <laughs> no. There is a lot of tension here. He seems quite mad at me, does he not? <laughs> I think he just seems mad. <laughs> Maybe he's just mad. What are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> really need to... You should probably drink something. Right, some milk. No, not milk. No, no with the alcohol. Mother's like, milk. Gosh. Alcoholic. <laughs> At this point, <laughs> Elijah just... <laughs> Listen, we don't have much time. Yeah, 30 days, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm headed to Rothenheim. First thing tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes. The sooner the better. It's at least 10 days ride. It'll take me some time to get there. I thought we had more time. <laughs> we only have 30 days to prepare for this. Unless, of course, you already have a te teleportation scroll, but then I can use Grisha's that she makes tonight to get me to Rothenheim immediately. Yeah, when you have the reinforcements, all of them. Uh... Could you spend some time to copy it yes. to your book? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good bit. Morning Cross. The Dragonborn. Go get Speedy. Manichaeus. Oh. Oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> I'm trying, yeah. alright? We've been shook up since today. <laughs> you just yeah. need to go to bed, I think honestly. You, did you <laughs> hit your head? Did one of those stone giants just <laughs> give you a wallopin? No, we no, didn't. That no, was I had to tell you to say that. The bruises don't yeah. come here. Where will you head after this? I, I don't know, we were supposed to go to the mountains. We're going to go to Crescent Cliffs to find a way through. Alright. Uh, on our map, it's the mountain range that we're supposed to be going to. Yep. Emerald Mountains. Emerald Mountains. Mountains. You would know there is a mountain pass from Crescent Cliffs. And there's a tablet up there, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is a tablet there. Yo, we gotta get there. There's also uh, the Temple to boys, Berica, so. where Helena's sister Oh yeah, we're gonna get there. Talk to her. Why are we going to Crescent Cliffs? Because there's a passage through oh, up there. Crescent and Cliffs. we can stop by. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Meet the family. <laughs> um, yes, so that's our plan. As far as I know. Yeah. For sure. Uh, we but we need to, too. the whole reason we wanted to come to Stonebrook was to warn them about what's happening. So we definitely need to do that before we leave. Do you know who we should speak to, Grisha? Chris, you're gonna... Don't worry. I'll take care of that. As I said, I have connections. In fact, inside I'll get check. you there tonight. Make an inside check. I don't know. Mm -hmm. For funsies! It's not like... It's I can roll inside. It's 11. You believe her? Okay. Yay. Hi. <laughs> She's just gonna... I'll stay here for a time. And trying to ride to Theseus in 30 days is impossible. Mm -hmm. Even with the fastest horse, I would get there at the tail end of that time. However, I will need some time to conjure up a few more teleportation scrolls for myself so I can get there and back. But in the meantime, I will warn the proper authorities of what's to come. I don't know whether or not they will leave me, but we'll see what I can do. Would it help you if you took this with you? I don't... do we need it for anything now? You need what, the teleportation scroll? No, the oh. plans. Oh no. Mm -mm. If you copy those down, you could take these with you. Very well. It's something. What proof? What plans were these? Hmm? The plans of the returned. Oh, the oh, right. Where we need to go, whatnot. Mm -hmm. 
Were they? Kind of we can copy up. these down. I'll mm-hmm. take them with me. It's been a long, long day. Okay. Quite tired. You should probably get some rest. <laughs> well, I would. But I'm afraid I need to go procure some components so that I can create a scroll and get you all on your way. Hmm. After all, we are on a time plane. Anyways, enough with the heavy. Um, the vibes are a little off, so I'm gonna go and play a song. <laughs> <laughs> if there's a stage, I don't recall. I feel like there's a stage here. Uh, there's not a stage here, but there's like a spot near the front window. Like, there's a big bay window that kind of overlooks the rest of the uh, that, that's marketplace. The one. <laughs> I'll head to there. Uh, as you do, um, you hear Zarya just kind of. Oh, yeah, here we go again. <laughs> Do you have any time for a short rest while all of this is You would have gotten a short rest. Okay, <laughs> great, great. Um, That's amazing. Um, oh, that's odd. <laughs> so as you step up to the... Uh, you watch as a couple people kind of turn your way and... Well, get on with it. It's obviously a tough crowd. Um, hello, so I'm dragging in. Um, my name is Castro's Falcon. This is Mavis. Um, we are the Sirens Cowl. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so, so much to Dargan for letting us come and enjoy this wonderful tavern, and this one's to Dargan. You see as he, like, just <laughs> physically <laughs> winces yeah. at that. Um, and then... I'm gonna cast darkness for dramatic effect okay. <laughs> all over. Oh man! Oh, <laughs> man. You know I'm dramatic, and then I am going to cast performance of creation. Okay. And I am going to create. Hmm. I'm gonna create a little little fox. Little fox thing. Okay. And then I'm going to animate that fox and make it dance with Mavis. And then I'm gonna stop the darkness and play whatever I'm feeling inspired to play on my lyre. All right. And is there anything else? Make a performance. Shape. I'm going to fly also around <laughs> with everyone. <Yeah. laughs> make a performance check with advantage. Okay, cool. Remember when you needed us for a show? Not yeah. 20 on the last yeah. roll! Yeah. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> All the rolls have been crapped tonight! I just want to say, <laughs> I don't want to jinx the juju, but not 20 on the midnight stray. Yeah. Not 20 on the midnight stray. <laughs> no. This could be you. It could be you. It could be you. <laughs> could Those be storytelling you. moments. I like the sh- I appreciate the shameless plug. Yeah, I like shameless the shameless plug. plug. So as you step up, you're feeling you, you know what? You feel like you need to bring the mood up. Everybody's a little dour. Yeah, and the rest of the crowd's a little a little seeming a little down. As yeah, you, you get to show kind of this everything goes to like, the darkness. They don't know me. And out of the darkness, this little fox begins to dance around. In front of it, the darkness begins to recede, and the Mavis kind of flies forward, picks the fox up, and swirls it up in the air. The two of them begin to dance this beautiful, uh, kind of uh, aerial ballet, if you will, as they dance around, and you begin to hover up with them, hovering above the crowd as you begin to play the a very lively tune. Um, Dargan looks up. Hell, that's new. So you begin to float around, <laughs> and everybody's just going, whoa, what's happening? Everybody's just really <laughs> appalled. Like, they're just Take amazed. Taking it back. Amazed just this story. Taking it back. And then you hear the door so swing good. open. As the door swings open, you don't see him when at first, then you look down, you see this tiny little gnome as he steps forward. And, I knew I was going to I knew it so you watch oh as Naffy steps oh, in Naffy. and kind of wanders in and he just begins the to climb with the music. Naffy. He kind of looks up, oh hey, I know all you guys. <laughs> yes, you do, <laughs> darling. Go back. It's been, it's what, like, what, a few months now? It has been a few months. It is. I can see all y'all. Do you see, oh still goodness. see kobolds? Yes, how's your problem with that? Did you ever catch them? Oh, I oh, well, never did catch them. But, uh, you know, I walked one on the head one time and it felt good. Mm. Good. Oh, real good. 
Heck yeah, no. I'm still hanging caught yet, though. They still, they still screw with me from time to time. I ain't gonna lie. But it's all right, you know, I'm, I'm getting by. We're, we're making it work. So uh, I need a drink, y'all. And he kind of like wanders over and like crunk climbs up onto the uh, onto the bar as you get, continue to play this song. Everyone just gets very lively and upbeat. It's like a to make it louder so everyone in Stonebrook can hear it. Uh, at this point, with a natural 20, people begin to pour in from outside as it is now dark outside. There is this... Uh, very raucous applause at your show. It's uh, it, it, the whole house just gets packed out with people. Whole house. And Darby <laughs> kind of looks up and he, oh, I'm getting flashbacks now. I'm pretty sure something bad happens next. Oh, oh God. <laughs> we did take care of most of the pirates. So. Makes you feel better. Well, I'm much better. Oh, that was. Yeah. <laughs> While that was going on, could I have set wherever it was and t- cast detect magic ritually? Yeah, so your ritual cast detect magic. Your box is still magical. Yay. Wow. As the magic emanates out, there's nothing out of the ordinary around you. Nothing that catches your attention. To Elijah. It's a bit dramatic, don't you think? Oh, uh, he does have a flair for the dramatic. It's quite good, though. Is very good. Oh my gosh. You've surrounded yourselves with some very powerful allies, companions. Friends. They're good friends. They're yes. good friends. I'm glad to see it. Me too. A lot better than Rothenheim, where all I really had was you. He kind of smiles a bit and he leans his head down. I know. I'm happy to see you found people that bring you joy. Me too. Good people. Good people. I'm sitting there with my drink. (laughs) (laughs) That's my friend right there! (laughs) I ain't him up. I ain't bring him up. With my friend CC, shout out to the Faded Four! (laughs) (laughs) With this, Elijah stands up and he just kind of extends his hand. Oh! How could I say no? Oh! So as he takes you by the hand, he kind of like pulls you to him and begins to kind of shift into the crowd with you as the two of you begin to dance. And you kind of lay your head on his shoulder, and it's been the first time in months that you've been able that you've smelled him. Like, you smell his clothes, his scent. And you feel as he pulls you in tighter, there is a bit of wetness that kind of falls from his eyes and lands on your cheek. Don't do that now. He says, I thought I didn't have any left. As long as I'm here, you always have some. And hopefully... We'll keep those tears from falling. Though I swear to God, if you slept with the floor, I will kill you. <laughs> as he laughs, you can hear with the laughter as he just kind of just, he starts to chuckle to himself and the tears begin to flow even more. He pulls you even tighter. Um, and that seems like a great place to end tonight's session. Oh. <laughs> oh. I just had to remind, uh, Bear with me. Thank you, Bob. Christian kind of reaches over to you, Artemis, and she just kind of <laughs> hugs on your elbow a little bit. It's, it's all right. It'll come back to you in time, I promise. Oh. Elijah. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. Wait. <laughs> yeah, because. I told him this one time before, and now I've seen them dancing out there. It's oh, like, yeah. you know, I'm going to message him, and I'm going to say, you know, I told you, you're not going to break a heart again. Mm-hmm. Come back from Rotterdam, unscathed, and take care of you. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. You hear this as he whispers back a response. 
he says, if I am ever able to mend her heart and mine, I will never let them break again. And that's where we're going to end tonight. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we'll be back. Uh, I don't know about next Tuesday. We gotta actually need to talk to you guys. But anyways, go check out the schedule. We will we will keep it. We will get it up posted here pretty soon. But we will be back next Monday for certain with Tales from the Winch Wilds next Monday night, 7.30 Central Time. Same, same time, same place, yes. Same time, same place. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we're going to do a raid afterwards, so stick around if you'd like. And uh, until next time, good night. Good night! 30 days. 30, 30 days! <laughs>